Jason Fladlin here on behalf of Wilson Matos and the Rapid Crush crew. We welcome you to this training about affiliate marketing, both the, the good side of it, because when it's done right, it's like the best thing ever. And that's no joke. That's no hyperbole. But oftentimes it's not done right. And then it becomes kind of like the worst thing ever. So you're going to see two types of me on this webinar today. You're going to see this straight to camera. And that's because this was an urgent message I wanted to get to you. And so formal presentation goes out the window uh, in exchange for me having a really powerful, really insightful bit of information that I think can be super helpful to you. Although we do have slides as well. So you will see some of that as well, but mainly it's going to be us chit chatting here directly eye to eye today. But that doesn't mean that what I have for you should be discounted. If anything, it should be enhanced. Now I have a meticulous agenda that I've mapped out and laid out for you here today. So I promise you we'll be on topic with direction. That direction is to get you moving more towards a lot of money sooner, quicker, and faster than you ever imagined. And I have an eye on the chat too, because the good news is when I'm not in slide mode, I can actually look at the chat. So if you see me looking down into the corner, that's where my focus is at that time. All right, we ready to rock and roll? Say yes if you are, and let's do it. Now let me start it off, interestingly enough, by showing you and explaining to you the most tried approach for becoming a millionaire. This one method is more often employed at the attempt to gain millionaire status than probably every other method known to man combined legitimately, right? Now, what's really attractive and seductive about this millionaire strategy or aspiring millionaire strategy is that it takes the least amount of effort. You literally can apply this with no effort whatsoever, almost, the bare minimum effort required, and somebody always is successful with it. Sometimes multiple people in a short period of time are super successful to it, even though it takes almost no effort, and they achieve millionaire status, and oftentimes multi-multi-millionaire status. And even those that don't hit it big with this strategy, and don't make the millions, there are thousands of folks each year that do a very comfortable six figures with this model. And they come from all walks of life, young, old, educated, uneducated, um, this state, that state, this country, that country, all over the world. And does anybody know what I'm talking about? Has anybody guessed to this model of millionaire, the number one most attempted way to become a millionaire? Derek's got it. Good job, Derek. I was surprised. Uh, Gwen has got it. Yep. Wow, we got some really sharp cookies. Uh, and Ben says he gets it and he goes, I hope not. And the answer is, for better or worse, the lottery. The lotto, right? It's called the lottery. And it's the most popular form because, especially if we're talking like Powerball, which is the most popular form of lottery, it only requires you to pick, I think, six numbers between one and 50. So you pick six numbers between one and 50 with the hopes to win millions or more. And here is why this is effective. And this is not a judgment whether you play the lottery or don't play the lottery. It doesn't matter to me. That's your decision on how you spend your money and far be it for me to tell you whether that's a good idea or a bad idea. Here's why it's so seductive. It only is 50 numbers. Anybody can pick 50 numbers, right? You only have to do that six times, six unique numbers. You literally could pick one, two, three, four, five, six, and your odds of winning are exactly the same as any other number of combinations. Interesting, huh? The problem with this model is it's simple, but it's not easy to be successful with it. Success comes from random chance more than anything, right? And it's funny that I bring this up to you because I believe the way most affiliate marketing is taught or promoted or offered to you as a model online is so similar to the lottery. And that really upsets me because affiliate marketing is very easy to go out there and seduce somebody into trying this model and spending money to make the model a go by buying a course or a training program or what have you because it's really, it's like the lottery in that sense, right? Instead of pick a number, it's pick an offer. And instead of just get six numbers in a row, right? It's like send a couple people to that offer. 
And it's, it's really, really simple from the high level vantage point of, hey, they've already got the product. They've already got the proof, whoever you're promoting, right? If you're promoting information products, you get usually 50% of the sale. So you, you promote a $2,000 item, you make one sale, you make $1,000 on that $2,000 item, right? All you got to do is send a couple people to it and supposedly they have the most fine-tuned funnel with all the conversion elements and they're experts at marketing and they have all this data to back it up. And all you got to do is get people to go to that and they take care of the rest, right? It is very lottery-esque, very much just pick a couple of numbers and you could win the jackpot kind of a thing, right? Here is where affiliate marketing differs in that unlike the lottery, which at least it takes no amount of time, maybe a couple minutes, right? Affiliate marketing can take an ungodly amount of time. And it's usually a lot more expensive to play than the lottery as well. Because you're buying these courses or you're buying these different resources and assets to start an affiliate business or to try to get more momentum behind a promotion as an affiliate. And so why both the lottery and affiliate marketing have a negative ROI for most people that attempt it, it has a lot bigger negative ROI affiliate marketing does, okay? So my goal here today is to separate the myth from the fact when it comes to affiliate marketing, to tell you the real true way that you can be successful with it and to give you both the pros and cons of it. So I believe that once you understand it in its right fashion, it can still tick all the boxes of quickest way to make money online, easiest way to really have an impact, right? A least amount of a learning curve, as long as you're focusing on the right things. Affiliate marketing is more successful when you just know what not to focus on, as opposed to what to focus on, all right? See, people run down the wrong road thinking they're on the path of success, and instead they're on the path of failure with affiliate marketing. And the faster they run down the road of failure, the farther away from success they get. So yes, they can load up their cart with tools to make them run faster. They can get extra momentum and motivation by being part of a group of inspirational coaches and all that fun stuff, right? And yet every day they spend more money and work harder and they run faster than ever and they're further away from success than ever you could ever hope to get, all right? So I'm going to break this down for you in a way to where I believe affiliate marketing in the sense of here's how I would like to play the lottery. I'd like to be able to pick a number between one and seven <laughs> and then get lottery tickets for a penny. That's my strategic mindset there. How do I make that happen? How can you change the odds, so to speak? So it's a matter of winning. And then really the question is how big is the jackpot? So that's kind of the lens in which I view this for. And we have ways that I think can stack the deck in your favor. Now, here is the extra layer or my attempt at getting even more sophisticated with this. I believe I can show you this in a way that regardless of what business you're in and what model you wish to leverage online to make your fortune, be it physical products, be it digital products, be it service, be it software, be it coaching or anything and everything in between, I believe the lessons that I am going to show you with affiliate marketing can be equally applied in all of those areas. Does that sound good to you, all right? So I don't wanna hear anybody says, well, I don't really wanna do affiliate marketing, Jason, because the lessons are equally applicable to everywhere else. And that's one of the benefits, I think, of affiliate marketing. Now, quick story time. The first money I ever made online was through affiliate marketing. That's where I got my first taste of cash. Um, I don't ever really call it my first success story though, because the first time I talk about making real money online is when I wrote articles for other people. And the first real success I made in the digital aspect, because that was a service, right, was selling my own info product. But I did make a whopping $60 in the first month that I did affiliate marketing, okay? What I did was this. I am perusing through the shared closet I have one day that I shared with my dad, because we grew up in this tiny little apartment in Muscatine, Iowa, next to two pawn shops across the street from a redneck bar called Hubbles, just to give you an idea of the locale that I started my business in. And my dad and mom had gotten a divorce and my dad wanted to get back on the dating scene. So my dad bought a course uh, called Advanced Dating Secrets, which was by Evan Pagan, a uh, pen named David D'Angelo. So it's funny how small the world really is at the end of the day. And I had heard, because I was following internet marketing and I got that urge and I started buying courses and stuff to try to make money online. I'd heard of this gentleman and he was really good at conversion and he had really solid funnels and he paid really well to affiliates who would promote his products. And so I said, boom, 
light bulb moment. I have the material for the course already here. So I have product access. Let me go through the product, glean what I can, and then write articles around it to try to get people to buy his product. And that was my plan that was hatched. And this is how I got in the article mar marketing game, by the way. So I would just set a goal. I'm going to write two articles a day on any different topic I possibly can, submit it to easy and articles, right? And then at the bottom of my little bio box, it would say, for more dating secrets, go here. And I had a URL that I would send them to, which would then capture their email. So they would sign up to get the guide. And then I, on email follow-up, I would promote his products and other dating products, all right? So at the end of month one, I had written 60 articles. So I made $60 writing 60 articles. What do you think my dollars per hour rate was back then? So keep in mind, by the way, I'm painting houses for 12 bucks an hour during the day. How much do you think I earned in my first month of affiliate marketing? <laughs> and I'm looking at the chat right now. And some of you, some of you are pretty funny, by the way. I appreciate, appreciate the joke. It lightens the mood here. But get, put a dollar figure on my hours. How many hours do you think it took me to write 60, out, 60 articles? And how long do you think it took me to create a report that, we get, that I gave away? And how long did it take me to build that squeeze page and set that up, right? Uh, Fiona says 50 cents an hour. Carl says five cents an hour. Andre says you know, $1.80 an hour, I think, right? Or 180 hours, right? That's about, you know, I was really good at articles because I got motivated after a while because I got upset that I couldn't make any money. So it would take me about 15 minutes to write an article once I get good at it, which is way better than most people. So I had that going for me, which was nice, right? So I could write four articles in an hour. And so it's 60 articles would be 15 hours right there. So I'm way faster than what most of you have guessed. Now it took me another five hours to set up the tech and everything. So I'm 20 hours in and then to kind of learn the ins and outs of the model and all this, uh, you know, that was some more time. Let's just call it 30 hours. It's about 30 hours. So I made two bucks an hour. Now I'm painting houses at the time for 12 bucks an hour. So not very good. And I didn't get the money right away, right? So it's not like even if I made a lot of money, I couldn't quit my day job right away. Interesting, huh? But does it really matter? $2 an hour, 70 cents an hour, 30 cents an hour. Can't you see how in that situation, if you were to get paid four bucks an article, how it'd be way more attractive for you just to get paid to write articles as opposed to try to make money as an affiliate, which is what I did. Because instead of 60 bucks, I at least could have made like $250 for that time. <laughs> uh, anyway, so would I trade that experience? No. It helped solidify the foundation for me later on in my career. And I learned a lot along the way, right? And there was a lot of experience. But here's the unfortunate thing. You can't go to the bank and say, hey, forward me my future earnings of my experience today so I can pay the rent. Doesn't work that way, right? But isn't that nice if it can be done like that? But here's the good news. It did not stop me. So even though I failed, it didn't stop me. So even if you've ran into issues with affiliate marketing in the past, don't let that hold you back. The model is the model. And one of the reasons I'm here for you today is I'm upset. I am angry at how affiliate marketing is being taught because it's a lot of sizzle and not a bunch of steak, okay? Anyway, if you want to be good at affiliate marketing, here's the first thing that you must do. You must study the best, right? Now, when it comes to who's the best in affiliate marketing, it's not really a debate. Most people who know this industry consider Wilson, Matos, myself, the whole crew at Rapid Crush, the very best in this space. And the reason for that is because we hold all the records. I mean, it's an irrefutable claim to the throne. If this was the home run record for the single season most home runs, we would be Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa, and Roger Maris, and we wouldn't have to take steroids in order to occupy those stops. We would be Barry Bonds on top of them, right? Uh, we would, in any measure that you would, would record it, we don't just eke it out over. It wasn't like, luck of the draw or a judgment call on who's the best, we crushed. One of the reasons we call ourselves Rapid Crush is because we don't like to win, we like to crush it. And we have sold 
over $25 million of other people's products as an affiliate. And we've done it in a lot of different places and a lot of different ways. And most of you, by the way, whether you know it or not, have helped us achieve that record. Because many of you here on this call have bought in through one of my affiliate promotions in the past. And if that's you, say me into the chat right now. So most of you have been on the other side. You have seen me do my affiliate magic on you, right? So not only am I saying I'm one of the best brain surgeons in the world, you as a customer says, yeah, Jason operated on my head. <laughs> All right? So who would know better on the insights of what best of class affiliates and most successful affiliates have in common than me if I may so humbly submit myself to you today? So let's go over here on the slide real fast because I'm going to write, I want you to write these down. There are five common traits of successful affiliates. We're talking really game changer level stuff that make tons and tons of money. And as I reveal these to you, you're going to discover why understanding affiliate marketing is going to help you regardless of how you decide to move forward in the future. So here's the number one thing that affiliates have in common more than anything else. You ready for it? Your own products. Bummer, huh? So it's so funny because I made my money first in this market by selling my own digital products. When you sell your own digital products, here's what happened. Other people will want to promote them usually. So if you get enough customers, a small percentage of those customers will also be students of the game who are also vendors in their own right. So they will buy your product. They'll say, I like this product. Can I promote it to my audience? And if you're not stupid, you say, of course you can. That's free traffic, free money. I'll split the commissions with you. And that's what happens. So the best affiliates are product creators. So you're like, damn, Jason, now I got to learn how to start my own info business on top of being an affiliate. I'm telling you, if you're trying to be an affiliate, you don't have your own products that you can sell and build your own list of customers through those products, the game's going to be way harder. Okay. So having your own products is like having a lottery ticket that you pay half as much for and only have to pick half as many numbers in order to be successful. And you have a bigger jackpot, right? So having your own products is great too because even if you don't understand affiliate marketing, you have a lot of experimentation that you can play with an audience. So having your own products is the first lesson there. And so it's hard to be good in affiliate marketing if you do not have products yourself that you can leverage to create customers where you keep all the money, all right? That's the first one. Second one, sales technique. I don't care what anybody tells you. If you wanna make money in business, you have to understand sales, period. Analyze anybody who's been successful in any business who's rose up to prominence and they all have salesmanship in common, right? Steve Jobs was a salesman before he was anything else. Elon Musk, not only did he start his first sales com company way before he got famous, his first company was a door-to-door -door sales company selling essentially a Yellow Pages online solutions uh, for businesses. Anybody know the name of that? That's a little trivia for you right there, right? Bill Gates was a salesperson. He basically took open source code and then pitch somebody on the idea to license it from him. Brilliant in a sense, right? And you just go on and on and on and on. And so in this space, you have to understand sales psychology. You have to understand what makes people buy and what stops people from buying. You have to understand different ways to message things in a way that will get people to resonate with them and say, yes, I want this, right? Now, here's what's great about sales technique as an affiliate. You are a third party source. And so one of the reasons affiliate marketing can be so powerful is it's, it's one thing if I say, Jason Flatland is like one of the greatest human beings that ever has existed, right? And you're like, yeah, whatever, Jason, get over yourself, right? But if you say to your friend, Jason Flatland is the guy you got to follow online, that's infinitely more powerful than anything I could say about myself. You saying something about me or me saying something about you is more important than you saying something about you. And so if it's done right, affiliate marketing has the most potent, powerful persuasion that's laced around it. But here's unfortunately what happens. All these affiliate marketing courses out there say, you don't need to know how to sell. The vendor is the one who sells. You just send traffic to it, right? <clears throat> Wrong. You've lost. You've bought a lottery ticket where you could only fill out five of the six numbers and you didn't see that there was a six number there, right? No good. Email marketing. And I got a lot more to say on this because I'm upset at a lot of you, by the way. 
because I've seen you. It's like me trying to get my kids to eat vegetables, right? I'm telling you to do email marketing and you're fighting, you're kicking, you're screaming. You say, Jason, yeah, I'll do email marketing. And when I turn my back, you spit it out into a napkin and feed it to the dog, right? I get it. I empathize with you. I have recently spent a lot of time very closely with a group of beginner marketers who are just getting into this business, trying to help them build an email list and I almost quit. <laughs> I almost retired from this business, but now I hung in there, right? I now understand a lot of the challenges of email marketing that I was ignorant to myself and naive to. But affiliates, the reason number one more than anything is they build an email list. If you look at all the leaderboards of the people who win affiliate contests or place and sell some of the most as an affiliate, because it's really cool. Affiliate marketing has a scoreboard. And it says, this person sold the most, this person sold the second most, third most, fourth most, fifth most. It's very clear. There's no real trickery to the numbers there. Somebody wins, somebody gets second, somebody gets third. It's like the Olympics, right? So I can see all these leaderboards of all the biggest launches, and I've studied them for the last 10 years. And 95 plus percent of the time, the people that make up the top 10 all have an email list, almost without fail. Email, all right? Which is cool because it can help you in other areas, right? Number four, bonus stacking. So having bonuses that you offer for free if somebody buys through you. That is the biggest game changer of all in affiliate marketing, I feel, is when you say, listen, you can buy this from that person on your own, or you can pay the same price, buy through me, and get all this other stuff for free. How is that not a winning argument. Okay. Regardless of whether you buy this product for me or on your own, you pay the same price. But when you buy it through me, you get all this other stuff for free. Problem. What kind of bonuses should you create? How should you create those bonuses? How should you deliver those, right? There's a lot more here than meets the eye. Now, most people teaching affiliate marketing don't want to teach you this because they see you and they say, that person doesn't want to create a bonus. Maybe they're right. Maybe they're not right. I don't know. But they want to sell you a lazy way to success. But it's hard to find a lazy millionaire. I've looked. I've tried to study them so I could model them because I'm not a big fan of hustle your face off type of mentality, right? I think that's kind of like brawn instead of brains approach to this business. And I would rather lead with the brain than lead with the brawn. But sometimes you gotta roll up your sleeves and get down to it, right? And here's the other big deal, insider information. This is the probably the one that harms people the most and nobody wants to talk about it. So let's talk about it. <laughs> you know, I'm known in this circle as the killer of sacred cows um, because I'm always in my mind, one of my leverage points is how do I connect more with the end customer, which you would think would be common in this business, but that's not the case. Most people in this business say, how do we connect with each other to sell to the end customer? So you're a byproduct of their strategy. You're not the central focus of that strategy. And so I do not do well in those circles because I call out that bad behavior. It's what it is. But what do I mean by insider information, all right? Really good affiliates know about products coming down the pipeline before anybody else does. So if they wanna promote those products, they can get a head start over you and anybody else for that matter, many months in advance, okay? They also don't really pay for product. You know this thing, like it was a big news a couple of years ago, like the people at the Grammys, like celebrities and at the Emmys and Oscars or whatever, they get these gift bags. So all these influential brands and things like that, load up a gift bag. So here's multi-million dollar celebrities who get half a million dollars worth of swag for free. Is that fair? No, it's not. Is that the way the world works? Yes, it is. So affiliates don't have to pay for product. They get as many products as they want and now they can go through product ahead of time and understand what the product is, speak from it as an insider, not as an outsider, right? That's the least insidious way, by the way, this business is done. Even, most often it's done even way more unethically where they're making backroom deals with each other. 
where they're saying, hey, listen, I'm going to drop this on this day to help you sell just to your audience because I know that this is perfect for your audience, right? Uh, and then in return, here's what you're going to do for me later on. And so this is not a game that is favorable to somebody that's on the outside looking in. It's not, okay? So yes, let's run through the list again just to review. You got to have your own products if you really want to play this game right and not just a product. Notice the word plural, products, S, okay? You have to know how to sell and arguably the best salespeople are affiliates because they are handing you over to somebody else as opposed to saying, here, I know my own stuff. I know my own product. I know my own experience. I know this. I know this, right? It's You have to analyze somebody else and send somebody to them. Um, email list is almost unavoidable. Yes, there are affiliates that do well from YouTube um, or Facebook ads or Google SEO, but it's not the most common approach. It's not the most likely way of doing it, okay? So not only got to build an email list, you have to be good at email marketing too. We're going to talk a little bit more about that in a second. You have to create bonuses and then you have to know how to position those bonuses and sell those bonuses to your audience, okay? And I'll give you insights on to some of those things or all of those things, time permitting here. So you have to do affiliate marketing in this way to be successful. And once you do, it is undoubtedly the best model to make money online. Because see, if you're doing something else, the easiest stream of income you could add to your business is affiliate marketing because no one business can do everything. No one business can do everything. I'm so good at conversion and I'm disproportionately that much worse at traffic generation because I spend all my time in conversion. Does that make sense? Or like Amazon can't, they're trying to be everything, but even Amazon can't be everything. They still need FedEx to deliver their packages. And they will in the foreseeable future, no matter how much they're trying to get rid of that. But even if they got rid of that, they still need third-party sellers to stock their virtual shelves. No one company can do everything. So whatever you have, if you add affiliate marketing to it, it's the easiest, highest profit margin, highest leverage business that you could ever hope to have. That's why that's really powerful for you to understand on how affiliate marketing can fit into the game. Now, I like to do it the other way too. If you want to test something else, the best way you can make money in this business is speed of service, SOS, or speed of service. The quicker you can be of service to any marketplace, the more likely you are to be profitable. And so even if you want to create your own products, the best way to audition what products to create is to sell other people's products first and see which ones people are most receptive to. And then you can build your own products to be the peanut butter to their jelly or to be the higher level version of that product. So you give somebody an AB option, you either buy mine and it's this, or you can buy this other person's instead and I get a cut as an affiliate, right? What's really cool is affiliate marketing is very synergistic too with these models because once you learn how to create products, then you know what kind of products could, should be promoted. Once you learn sales technique, you can use that in any situation where you're trying to make money. Uh, if you try and go out there and get insider connections by going, because this is how you get insider connections in this business. Half of it is the results that you get, but the other half of it is being at all these events. So flying around the world, going to different internet marketing conferences, joining mastermind groups, and partnering with people on specific things all that kind of stuff, that's how you eventually will get the insider connections, okay? And then creating these bonus packages is really cool because they're really just micro products at the end of the day. So it's a good learn to crawl before you walk, before you run, before you create a full-on information product or a full-on resource, create a bonus first. So that way you can learn and potentially earn at the same time. There is one thing though, I believe, that can level the playing field and actually make it uneven in your favor in the short term faster than anything else. And I call this transcendental affiliate marketing, okay? You're gonna transcend these normal limitations of affiliate marketing, which is simple on the outside, but once you get down, realize it's not necessarily easy. So here is the transcendental affiliate marketing approach. Now let me ask you a question, and I want a yes or no answer to this. Do you consider yourself good at selling? Say yes or no into the chat box, okay? Uh, good, ooh, more yeses than I had anticipated, but I'm getting a lot of no's too, all right? This is fascinating, somebody said fair, okay? <laughs> Absolutely, okay, so yes or no, all right? Good, I'm glad that you realize this because most people who say I'm not good at selling Jason are liars. 
If you tell me you're not good at selling, I'm gonna call you a liar, all right? <laughs> With all the love and care in the world, but a liar nonetheless, because here's the deal on that. There has been some point in your life when you were so enthusiastic about something, when you were so tickled pink, that purely based on your enthusiasm, you got somebody to buy something that otherwise they would have never bought, period. And I would challenge any one of you to try to prove me wrong and do so in vain because every single one of you have that experience where you were so over the moon happy with something that even without the incentive of profit, with no commission, you were like, you gotta check this out, all right? So my daughter, she loves sriracha sauce. I can't eat anything spicy, but she loves the stuff. My oldest daughter does. And here's the funny thing about sriracha sauce. It sells over 20 million bottles a year with zero advertising budget, essentially. They've got to this point where they're this massive con corporation and super successful, household good. And they did it without a single dollar in advertising or marketing. Not traditional, at least, right? They done it through word of mouth marketing more than anything else. Uh, Sriracha Sauce doesn't have an official Facebook or Twitter account. Their website is not their website. They are, they, they are owned by a company. And if you go to that website, it looks like some 14-year-old kid built it in a GeoCities website builder, right? Um, Sriracha.com does not exist, believe it or not. Uh, it's their parent company that manages, and I can't even remember the name of the parent company, right? So that's one example. So Spanx is another example. So I've actually spoken at an event that Sarah Blakely, who invented Spanx, uh, started at. And Spanx is, is worth a billions of dollars. And it's a household name because women who bought this was like, oh my God, you got to try this out. It's the greatest thing ever. Uh, she was essentially a door-to-door -door salesperson. And that's how she got the brand off the deal. So she had a product that was so remarkable. People with no business background became better salesmen and marketers of that product with zero incentive, financial incentive that is, to build that brand. We are on a platform right now. It's called Zoom. Zoom has become the de facto streaming service. Remember Skype? Nobody talks about Skype anymore. Skype could have could have just been so massively powerful when the coronavirus hit because they had a head start over everybody. But nobody would feel comfortable telling their friends, hey, you should use Skype, right? They're like, I'm on Skype. I don't want to admit it, but I guess we'll have to settle for this. So when Zoom came around, changed the whole game, right? Now, I know the CEO of Zoom because we've worked with Zoom and helped them with their marketing. And Eric, who was the, is the Zoom CEO, came from a different company. Does anybody know the name of his company? And he left that company um, as an employee because he did not like their streaming software. He thought it sucked and he thought he could do better. And he did. And now they're worth billions of dollars. And that was WebEx. Anybody ever use WebEx conferencing? Will and I tried it many years ago. Uh, and then we proceeded to take six showers to wash the stink off of it. Um, and that is the difference. Now, by the way, I would say Zoom, and most of you have never heard of it for good reason, right? Uh, I would say Zoom. Is it perfect? Far from it, right? Zoom has its own issues, and the bigger it's gotten, the more those issues have been brought up. But in the land of the blind, the person with a half an eye, even if it has three cataracts in it, is going to rule the roost. It's going to win the game, right? That's the deal, okay? It'd be go to webinar. It beat WebEx. It beat whatever Adobe's monstrosity was. I think it was like Adobe Connect, right? It crushed Hangouts. It beat them all, all right? Not because it did better at marketing. Not because it had a bigger advertising budget. Not because it had an existing market share that it could trade up. It had the one thing none of them else had. Word of mouth enthusiasm from its own customer base, from regular everyday folks who were like, oh, that's how I heard Zoom, right? A friend of mine who has since passed away, Sean Stevenson, he was at stage at a conference that we were both speaking at. And, and Sean says, he says, go to webinar sucks and you know it. <laughs> That's what he said to everybody in the crowd. He was very blunt, uh, man. And he goes, Zoom is what I'm using now. And I'm like, let me look up Zoom, right? I went to zoom.com, didn't exist. 
because it's zoom.us, right? That's how small the company was then. And I tried it out. I was like, whoa, this is really cool. All right. And that's how I learned about zoom. We found go to webinar, not by word of mouth. Will and I did research and that's how we found that one. And that's usually what'll happen in lieu of having a true one of a kind product. So many of you can relate to some experience. Maybe some of you have actually used these examples I've given you. See many horrible salespeople, horrible, I say that in quotes, like they're not traditionally trained, they don't consider themselves people that can sell, but yet they sold these products without any commission or real incentive other than they just wanted other people to benefit like they benefited or they wanted to connect people with a superior solution because they know most people would instead choose an inferior solution. So if you can change your vision as an affiliate to say, my goal is to take people who would otherwise connect with an inferior solution and instead connect them to a superior solution, that'll be a total game changer for you. That is the purest form of marketing. It's the most ethical, it's the most comfortable form of marketing. It's the most powerful form of marketing. And it's you building a bridge. So I think of any affiliate marketer who's good as a bridge builder. You build a bridge from the consumer to the product creator. And you make sure that that bread you're building is to the right product. And it's not a rickety bread that's going to fall apart and have them drop to their death. Like, you know, the Temple of Doom bread that you have to walk across the, the ropes with, right? Whew. Now, here's the limitation, though, of bringing this to the online affiliate marketing space. How many multi-thousand dollar courses do you have to buy? in order to find that one that is, oh my God, this is life changing, you gotta check this out. Where it's not just a dog and pony show where you pretend to be excited because you have an incentive to make money by acting excited, where you genuinely are excited and you can't help yourself. How many courses do you have to buy? Because spoiler alert, most $2,000 courses are not that good. They're okay, some of them are more than okay, some of them are decent, some of them are eights out of tens but you gotta be closer to nine out of 10 and ideally a 10 out of 10 to get that word of mouth halo effect. So most of you would have to buy six to 10 to 12 to 15 courses, maybe more a year. Does that sound like too much? I don't think so, right? You'd have to spend $25,000 to get insider access essentially to where you can see a product, experience it, and then feel good and comfortable and excited sharing it with somebody else. Now compare that to most big time affiliates. I get hundreds of thousands of dollars of courses offered to me a year. Interestingly enough, I don't even take them when they're free because <laughs> it's not worth the time to go through most of them. The other reason is people will give me a course in hopes of creating this reciprocity uh, of guilting me into now thinking I have to promote it because they've given it to me, right? Uh, most affiliates, by the way, so here's the difference between how we've done really well and how most other people do it. It's funny, like if you buy a course, you will go through it because you spent money on it. Big affiliates get courses and they don't even go through them. I, why, I don't know. They don't get the concept of the enthusiasm, the transference of feeling is the most powerful sales technique of all. I learned that from Zig Ziglar. He says, selling is a transference of feeling and they don't tap into this. So they're lost your potential gain, right? Small affiliates don't get product access because here's what a vendor looks at them. And they say, hmm, is that person more likely to make a sell as an affiliate for me or buy my course? And they say, that person would be more valuable to me if they bought my course than if they promoted it. So they don't want you to be an affiliate. They want you to be a consumer because they calculate that your one sell that you buy direct from them is more valuable than you sending two sales as an affiliate. So you don't get course example uh, access. And let me tell you this, because I cannot understate this enough. This is the fundamental difference. It's hard to quantify. It's certainly not the sexiest appeal and angle and hook that you could put on a sales page or in a webinar, but this is the true blue truth. This is what makes the difference. What product access can do for you will transcend all other technique. This is your leveling the playing field. This is the one solution that solves a thousand problems, right? So we were the all-time greatest affiliate of ASM. Uh, amazing selling machine, right? We won the first seven contests. We got retired. We got kicked out of the leaderboard because uh, we were embarrassing in how much we would beat other people, right? But we noticed a trend. All these big time affiliates that would promote an amazing selling machine, 
they wouldn't do as good as some other people who were customers of ASN. So I can name for you all sorts of individuals who sold hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars of this course who were not professional marketers. They were not affiliates. They were custom customer enthusiasts, right? And there were many examples of such. I, I like to think of Philip Jepson, who even not only did he become enthusiastic enough to recommend this to other people and do really well, he ended up building a software around it and built a gigantic software business on top of it, right? And I just, I could just say, oh, so many times I've seen people come in. So the gurus quit promoting ASM because they got tired of getting embarrassed and beaten uh, by people like a Mary Kay Carr who was just excited and recommended the program and outsold all of them. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, there's probably 25 people. Like I remember Athena who was in a Facebook mommy bloggers group who just by enthusiasm and excitement was able to be a massively top level affiliate who was a customer first, who had product access and on and on and on and on and on. And I've seen this not just from that perspective, I've seen this in other promotions as well, where I've seen customers of mine who have bought all my top affiliates, mind you, had product access first as a customer and then they became affiliates because they were so enthusiastic, right? Now here's, here's the finer points because success is not black or white. There's nuance to this game. A lot of products are almost to the point where it's like, oh my God, you gotta check this out. That type of word of mouth marketing. They're almost there. You ever try to jumpstart a car by pushing it, right? You get behind the car, the vehicle, you put your shoulder into it, you push really hard. And at first there's no progress. You keep pushing, you keep pushing, you keep pushing. And then eventually you push hard enough and that car starts rolling. And now you can't stop it, right? You gotta run up, jump into the driver's seat and kick it over and hope it starts, right? A lot of products are to the point where if you put a little bit of push behind it, it would snowball. It would create that momentum factor. But there's a gap in the product or a flaw in the product or a missed opportunity to point it at a certain market. So this is where your bonuses come in. This is where a bonus can fix a flaw or a bonus could address a new market who otherwise wouldn't give it the time of day or the bonus could bridge build between this disconnect and this connect that would make the difference, right? Because any given product launch, 95% of customers, we're talking multi-million dollar product launches, 95% of customers don't buy. So Will and I's secret power was like, okay, listen, 5%, 10% might buy. How do we get the other 90% who said no? What do they need to hear in order to say yes? Write that down because that's the biggest game changer I can give you when it comes to the psychology of affiliate promotion. Um, everybody else was like, oh my God, that's a $5 million launch. You did really good. They would say to the vendor, we'd say, that could have been a $25 million launch. What happened to the other 20 million who said no? What would they need to hear in order to say yes? Or what would they need or what would be helpful to them for them to reconsider their no position and maybe say yes as an alternative, right? So you create these bonuses, you give them away for free to anybody who buys through you, you solve this problem. So not only are you just not just adding value, you're solving a problem and that's how you win, all right? Does that make sense? Now, with that said, the wrong bonus is worse, worse than no bonus. So we saw this all the time uh, when we we're promoting ASM. Somebody would say on you know, the first promotions, they would say, come to China with me, right? And the consumer would be like, okay, it makes sense as on the surface, that bonus, right? Because they're going to help you source a product. They're an expert at going to China. It's going to give you a leg up. It's going to give you a leverage point, right? It's going to give you an advantage over somebody else, a guided tour. If you're going to go to China, you might as well do it that way. But it's like, how much is the plane ticket? A lot. How long is the plane ride? Really long, right? <laughs> And when can you redeem that bonus? Sometime in the distant future. That bonus was worse than having no bonus. Now what Will and I did instead was we created the China concierge program. We'll go to China for you. And we hired people that could go into China and source products instead. And we crushed. 
Does that make sense? Are you seeing what I'm saying here, right? So you have to be very delicate with the bonuses. Now here's what's really cool about this thing. You can change bonuses. You can try this one out. You can audition that one. You can play with this one. You can see what sticks and what resonates. So you do more of that. What does it? You get rid of it, right? The other challenge with affiliate marketing that holds a lot of you back, whether you know it or not, is most of the marketing is too gimmicky. It's all the same. Even really great products suffer from used carsman salesman techniques of the marketing, right? Because they go to an internet marketing conference and they learn all this stupid stuff that everybody's supposed to do and then they all copy each other. It's a very incestuous market. So oftentimes you will look at a promotion and you'll say, I'd like to promote that. I'm super excited to promote that but I don't wanna send people through that torturous marketing funnel that they've designed, right? So you either have to suck it up and do that anyway and feel uncomfortable, or you create your own marketing around it. Now, if you can create your own marketing around it, that is the holy grail. All of our best promotions as an affiliate came from us creating every piece of marketing promotional material never using the vendor stuff. Will, how many pre-launches for an, uh, an affiliate promotion, an indoctrination sequence as they like to call it, it's a very, very uh, cynical way of looking at it, right? How many of the vendor's materials have we ever used in a major promotion? Approximately. He must be muted. His silence is the answer, by the way. Because the answer is there is no answer because we've never done it. Zero percent of the time. Because we would do our own. We could create our own narrative. We could talk about the things that we felt were mattering. We could get out of the way of this me too. Because if, if everybody's using some bland marketing process, nobody has an advantage or a leverage point there, right? That's advanced positioning. I get that some of this may seem too uh, future forward one day, someday from you being able to implement and use. But zero, it's good Jason. To... The answer is late, but it's zero. I couldn't unmute myself for some reason. Yeah. Exactly, exactly zero. A total, grand total of zero. Yeah. And, and why is that, by the way? Why is it that we don't promote it? Because we, our conversion materials are a thousand times better than theirs. And is that, that's true, but that doesn't tell the whole story. How is it that we can create better conversion materials than the vendor who is the expert at that product, who's maybe spent six to eight months ramping that up to spoon feed affiliates, these done for you funnels? Why is it that ours still outshines all of that? Well, you just, you said, we well, said one part of it because they spent six to eight months creating it. So in most of, most of the time, there's no recency in what they're doing, Right we're able to look at it from an outside's perspective and say, what is working right now? Because oftentimes these launch, everybody understands the launch concept, whether they, they've been around for a long time or not, they've seen it. It's four videos, launch, pre-launch video one, it's some content, pre-launch video two, it's more content, pre-launch video three, it's more content, pre-launch video four, actually it's a launch video, sales video, right? And it happens anywhere between in, in, in an eight day period or even as long as a 21 day period in between those videos, right? Those videos have most often been pre recorded a long time ago. So the market shifts and there are changes in the market that could either validate or invalidate the content of those videos, right? So if somebody prepared a launch prior uh, launch videos because they're usually also very high quality done in the studio totally scripted even though people don't realize they're scripted they're totally scripted i mean this is high production quality stuff usually for most launches now imagine you did this and you prepared it you've been working on the launch for six months and you come january you record your videos and then you start doing all this stuff uh preparing for the launch and your launch is in march oh whoops COVID 19 hits yeah right Everybody's yeah. on lockdown. Your videos have just been invalidated, but hey, you go forward with your launch anyway. And there's no mention of the current world situation, right? Yeah, and that's just one of the ways. That's the just other, one of the issues. Yeah, they, we could create a whole webinar on just-in-time marketing and on feeling the pulse of the marketplace. Um, you know, the diagnosis from a doctor doesn't happen six months after the, the uh, 
symptoms show up, right? You want a doctor that takes your temperature right then and there and then tells you what you should be doing. So the yeah. challenge with this too, though, is here's another issue that never gets talked about in affiliate marketing and it rarely gets talked about in any, in any other business model is the cost, the hidden cost to run such a business because there are costs involved. Even if it's as simple as domain names and hosting, which can add up over time to other types of costs like graphic design and web page building and even email marketing can get expensive if you pick the wrong vendor or if you don't. Um, if you're not sophisticated enough, there's a lot of solutions and SaaS platforms out there that have all these got you's to them. And this can really add up over time, right? So when I made my whopping $60 and spent 30 hours to make that $60, I had actually spent about $1,000 on infrastructural marketing costs, right? So technically, I work 30 hours to make negative $940. That's when it made sense for me just to write the damn articles, have people pay me one off for them. And only after a while was I like, here's how I write articles and put that into a product. So there's a lot of hidden cost involved. And really the biggest ongoing cost that most people balk at is the email marketing, which to me is the backbone of any real business and even affiliate especially, but regardless. So here's my attempt to sell you on the concept of doing email marketing. If I could just achieve this one thing on this webinar today, I would consider this a huge success. If we can help just one person who otherwise was like, yeah, email's dead, or yeah, email's not worth it, or it's not important, right? If we can get one person to change their tune on that, I will consider this one of my most successful webinars that I've ever done. Because this is how important and how valuable email is. Let me put it into perspective in, for you in multiple ways. Let's talk about engagement. Social media engagement is horrendous. And by the way, the metric of engagement on social media is anything that requires something as simple as a tap, a thumbs up, or a like. It doesn't have to be a comment, right? And it doesn't have to be a click through to a web page or a landing page or any sort of page, right? So engagement on social media typically is about 0.58% of all the stuff that's out there you engage with very little of it actively. Now the average email open rate in this will depend on industry and all sorts of different factors. By the way, the smaller your email list, the better your open rates, the better your click through rates. We can talk about that psychology later if we have time. But email open rates average 22.86% and the click through is 3.7%. So your engagement via email is tremendously higher than on social media. And I would rather have a smaller audience with a higher engagement than a large audience with near no engagement. So engagement is key. What about purely return though? So there are all kinds of studies and you can find them and they're all over the place. And I've seen them in, in different countries, in different industries. When a company invests money into email marketing specifically, they almost always get the highest return out of every, every type of business. Now, most businesses don't do this. They in, instead invest in social media or paid advertising, or they invest in product creation or sort of other things, right? They don't invest in email marketing. But this one really good study, I'd recommend you download this PDF and, and read the whole thing, a 42 pound return for every pound spent, 42, the year before, 32, the year before 31, the year before 29. Why is that? Email is actually improving over the years in terms of its ROI. Most people think email is dwindling down. It's doing the exact opposite. And there's many reasons why, but it doesn't know, you don't need to know why. Just know email's giving you a better return than any other media that you could buy online or focus on optimizing online. Conversion rate, 2.3 to 1. These are general statistics. We have found in the industries that we like to promote stuff as an affiliate, it's significantly even higher than that. So if you wanna put any emphasis and any focus on anything that requires the least amount of people and has the most amount of impact, it's email. Let me put it to you yet another way to hopefully drive this point home. What gets checked first thing in the morning when you wake up? Now, by the way, if it's email for you, go ahead and type in me into the chat box. Now, it's not everybody, right? So 5% of people like to check the news first. 20% like to go to search first and search for something or look something up. 14% uh, go to social media. That's all social media. That's not just Facebook. It's Facebook, it's Instagram, it's Pinterest, it's TikTok, it's LinkedIn, it's blah, 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 right? 3% is everything else. 
Email has over half the pie. 58% of people upon waking check email. Me included. <laughs> I try not to, honestly, right? I know it's bad to first look at a screen when you wake up. And ideally, I would be more evolved and have a morning routine right away and, you know, do my meditation and mindfulness. And I try. And I really do try. Some days I succeed. But more often than not, I wake up, I reach for the phone, I look at email right away. And I don't even do much email. And I can't resist the email siren song, right? Another way to look at responsiveness is this. And this is a snapshot, a microcosm. I could show you 15 or 20 different findings of the same. But Sprout is a big, or Quick Sprout, very big company. Uh, Kiss Metrics is also another really big company and they're related to each other. Here's what they notice when they look at their analytics, as if this is a surprise. Shouldn't be, but it is, unfortunately. They say 13% of all their web visitors come from email. Just a paltry 13%, 13.91. Yet, they comment more than any other group. So 41% of total comments on a blog come from email subscribers. And email subscribers are 3.9 times as likely to share the content via social media. So what I've always wondered is this, if you wanna do social media, you should still do email, because why not? I wonder why people don't get that concept of the easiest way for me to throw gas onto the fire that is social media is make that gas email. Email will do more for your social media than anything else could ever possibly do. Hey, and Jason, regardless, yes. Jason, so Ben just mentioned a, 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 a very interesting thing. Explains why Facebook emails me about other people's posts and stuff. The social media is so great and so much better than email. Why would they have to uh, email yeah. you to get you to go to their social media profile? LinkedIn does it all the time. LinkedIn is always spamming me. Uh, not really spamming me. It just feels like that. Uh, So-and-so got a new job promotion. Congratulate them. So-and-so was doing this. Go in there. And, and I, this was a mistake I made recently because I went into my LinkedIn pro profile, logged in for the first time in years. And I get 15 emails a week because I noticed that. So email, by the way, this is a great point that Ben brought up that's not in my slides, but I'll tell you, social media is a passive way of engagement. You have to wait for somebody to come on social media and hopefully see your message. Email is an active form of engagement. You reach out and you tell somebody, hey, I got a message for you. That's one of the main differences of many. Uh, by the way, in every demographic over the age of 18, Email is the preferred source of marketing communication. And what business are we in? The marketing business, right? So if you want to do any commercial stuff at all, email is the most preferred channel from your customer base, including millennials, which now make up the most influential spending group online. 73% of millennials prefer communications from businesses to come via email. So hopefully I have sold you and made my case. Yes, email doesn't have that new car smell to it, it's been around for a while. The amount of email you get has gotten, has went up. The amount of spam has went up. If you wanna make money though, that is the best way of doing it. Now the three hardest parts of email marketing is the following. This is why a lot of people don't do it. So I've told you, I've been working really hard for the last 60 days, actually 75 days, to help people get started with this email concept. But here are the things that will hold you back. And I downplayed these until I realized how impactful and how challenging they are the first time that you try to do them. You have to give people a compelling reason to opt in. You can't just say, hey, listen, I want to send you emails to sell you stuff. That won't work. You have to give something away to earn the right to get into somebody's email inbox and market to them. So a reason to opt in. You have to have something very valuable that is willing for somebody to say, okay, send me messages. I'll take this thing. Uh, you got to be good at email marketing. I will tell you this. For us, how powerful email is, there's a reason why most emails suck because people don't invest a lot of resources into email marketing. We talked about this earlier, right? They, they hire some D-level copywriter or worse, somebody on staff that has never been trained in email marketing and they expect them to be writing this great email engaging copy, doesn't happen. Most emails suck, even in this business of email marketers of the internet marketing. Would you agree with me? Most of the emails you get are not very good. Is that a fair assessment? And this is from professionals, right? This is, reminds me of the, how a monkey in the stock market can outperform the S&P 500. <laughs> a monkey, right? It's like, I think a monkey could take random words and outperform most email 
in this business, okay? And then the third thing though is cadence. See, email marketing is a personal relationship. And so if you email somebody once in a blue moon, it's kind of like dating, right? You go out on a date with somebody, you don't talk to them for a month and a half, and then you call them up out of the blue one day and say, hey, let's go on another date. They say, get lost, right? So you gotta be quality and you gotta have cadence, a regular, consistent engagement strategy. Boom, right? So here's the deal. If you can pull all of that off, you will do really well. But if you wanna start somewhere, the focus is on building an email list. Now an email list of buyers is preferable, but any sort of email list is nice. So if you say out of everything I should do, Jason, what's the roadmap? My roadmap would be this. Here's my roadmap. First, find an offer that you know is gonna be, oh my God, this is awesome, this is amazing. So that is your end goal. You know where the destination will end up, right? That's your first thing. Second thing is to create these incentives to attract and draw people in, to get on your email list so you can promote this product to them. And then over time, you will now learn some of the finer arts of being successful in this business because you will have the opportunity to create sales, even though they're not your product. You will have the opportunity to build an email list and create a relationship and cultivate ongoing communication with that audience. And that's gonna be good for you no matter what you do, right? You will be able to start adding value in the form of bonuses and other things and create marketing around the things you promote. So this is a nice, easy way to ease into creating and building your own funnels. Do you see what I'm saying here? See how this is the greatest thing of all? But it's not like a lottery ticket. You gotta put in a little bit of work or you gotta know the right, the right resources. Because I'm a big fan of trading money for time. If I can trade a little bit of money, but it saves me a tremendous amount of time, I wanna know about that. Do you wanna know about something like that? I would imagine the answer to that is yes, all right? Or if there's a way you can leverage some of this stuff and tap into the brains of a company who's already figured all this out. And lo and behold, that's what we have done for you here. Now, by the way, we didn't recognize this. We didn't realize this when we first discovered this. Like most true great inventions, this came about more by accident than on purpose. It reminds me of how Velcro was invented. Do you know the story of how Velcro was invented? Guy goes out for a walk one day, he gets all these burrs, you know those little birds, burrs caught in his clothes and they're all sticking together and he's pulling them apart and he says, ooh, I wonder if we could actually create the stickiness, right? Or a less appealing way of an accidental breakthrough was Viagra, <laughs> where they said, okay, let's find a blood pressure medication or something like that. Did it work? No, but every patient has some interesting side effect happen instead, and then that created a multi-billion dollar industry out of it. Um, we had stumbled upon this by accident because primarily Will and I were looking at how do we help our customers have an unfair advantage so they can make the most money humanly possible in this business with the least amount of sophistication because that's what the business I'm in at the end of the day. I want to find for you shortcuts and ways that you don't have to kill yourself practically in order to be successful. So that way I'm useful to you and you'll be happy to exchange a little bit of money if I can help shave 10 years of struggle and agony off your life, right? And that's Originally, what we came up with, we said, you know what, let's create done for you. Let's do things for customers to get them closer to the finish line. Let's pick them up in the car and drive them to the 25th mile of the marathon and then have them run the rest. All right. Because this is our game. We can make up the rules. And so we created a product and we marketed it in one specific fashion and it was really successful. But it wasn't even the most powerful thing that we discovered when we launched this. It was like, way down on the list. Our biggest problem for the last 60 days is trying to explain and quantify the single greatest thing that we've ever developed. And that ain't hype, baby. Wait till you see it, okay? So some of you have maybe seen it in its poorest, weakest form in terms of how I've marketed it. Now I'm gonna try to do a better job because I believe for some of you, it'll be a game changer. It's called affiliate triad. And I've been getting all sorts of comments like, this, AT gives me all that I was looking for and a million times more, to my point. Whoops, we undersold what it was. We missed the boat on the real value of it. Or like somebody else says, in the last two months, I have more than gotten my money's worth from the training alone. You say training, I thought this was a done for you program, Jason. Yeah, me too, right? 
uh, or another comment, the value and motivation I get from each side webinar is huge. That's the Columbo stuff. Oh, by the way, we're throwing this in as extra goodness and it's better than what most people have ever experienced anywhere else. Or this is all I could ever ask for in this program. So a true everything you ever need all in one location. How valuable is that? Well, that's what we have for Affiliate Triad, all right? So on the surface, originally what we set out to create with Affiliate Triad was just one big promotion. Each month, because Will and I have the insider connections. Each month, because Will and I have everybody vying to take us to the dance. Everybody wants us to be the prom date for them, right? And so we know all the launches ahead of time. We get access to all the products and we can pick and choose the game changer products, the wow products, the diamond and the rough products. So we pick them. So you outsource that to us. Because it's a, it's a science. It's really hard to pick a right product to promote. We pick that. And then we create the marketing around it because whether the marketing from the vendor is good or not, it's not going to be as good as what we will create based on everything Will said earlier about timing, about recency, about having your pulse on the market. And for the fact is, listen, I'm pretty freaking good at this. A lot of people consider me one of the best, if not the best marketers alive on the internet. And so I have the competency and expertise as well. And we have the team which really is a big part of it. So we create the marketing materials, we design the funnels, and we give you the assets. And you can leverage those assets as is, or you can build on top of them and stand on the shoulders of our giantese, all right? Just made up a word for you, giantese, okay? Now here's what's really cool about this. When Will and I set this out, we didn't wanna just feed you fish every day, right? We wanted to teach you how to fish as well or at least set you up with your own boat and a map to go find and catch the best, biggest, most delicious fish. And so when we create a promotion, we also allow you to capture and build your email list with this promotion. So most affiliate marketing, another reason, and Will didn't mention this earlier, why we don't promote pre-launch material and promote vendors is because they capture our leads and then they proceed to screw it up. <laughs> they unsell, they're the sales prevention department. They reverse the sale that we would have otherwise would have gotten because their D-level copywriter who's writing their emails doesn't know his head from his toes. And so we give you the lead capture form. So if you wish to, now you don't have to, you can just send us this traffic. Sometimes it's good to just get going and make some money and then come and backfill it. Anytime you wish to, you can unplug us marketing to your leads for you and plug in it so you get them yourself. And one of the ways that we do that is not only allow you to at your discretion decide when you want to capture the leads, which no other, any other product creator will give you. They all say, give me your leads and trust me. Ha ha ha, right? Not only do we do that, I, Jason Fladlin, write the emails for you. Lots and lots of them to account for a variety of different situations. So let me actually show you what this looks like, okay? So you should see these emails on your screen right now, right? This is one example. I just want to give you a taste of this. So we say, hey, these are the emails. Here's the context. Here's email number one, because here's what I discovered, email number two. And this is just to promote the upcoming webinar. This isn't what happens after the e webinar. This doesn't happen for this person in this situation versus that person in that situation. This is just to get people to come to the unique specific webinar that we will promote the audience to the product, right? Lots going on here. Don't have a lot of time to talk about it yet, but maybe we can answer some questions on it. But here's one thing, long form email will always perform better than short form email. So some days I will write 3,000, 5,000, 10,000 words of email. Now I've done email marketing for 12 years. I'm pretty good at it, but I give you depth. I don't give you this throw it over the fence and hope it works style of email that other people might give you if they want you to promote their products, right? So we give you a ton of emails for each promotion each month for each situation. We create a unique page for the product that we're promoting and we build a massive, absolute knock your socks off bonus package for it. Sometimes the bonus package is so good, people who already own the product will buy it again just to get the free bonuses. Here is an example of one of these pages that we created just to give you an idea. By the way, our bonus pages are always better than the vendor's pages because we know what we're doing. So we use their proof elements. We stack our bonuses in line. We run their testimonials all down the side. We give the proof elements. We assign values to them. They look really nice. They, they work on every device known to man in terms of readership and the, you know, they, they have the right context and I could just go on and on. 
on what these things will do in terms of these bonus packages. So we understand the bonus package, not just what bonuses should be where and how they should be positioned, but also how they should be presented on the web page. And when you promote with us, here's an advantage you have that no other affiliate ever has. An affiliate has to say, hey, look over here to know my bonuses and then go over there to buy. That's schizophrenic. We make it what we call inline. You send a lead, they see what you got, they click a button and they buy all in one grease shoe, right? Now, just to have us write a webinar for a promotion starts at $30,000. That doesn't include any emails, that doesn't include the registration page, the thank you page, that doesn't include the webinar replay page, that doesn't include the landing page to buy the product as an affiliate that I just discovered, that, that I just discussed with you. That's just to write the conversion element. Has, that doesn't count any of the bonus creation or bonus fulfillment or support or anything else, right? This is the approach and attitude that we take on behalf of affiliate triad customers that we approach our own affiliate marketing with. Like when we set the record all time for affiliate marketing. And if that was it, which is what this, what affiliate triad started, if that was it, be such a great deal for you. It'd be really, I think the best way you could invest in any product right now to help you in your business, but it's so much more. So when we got in, we say, hey, what will happen in between promotions? So we do one big promotion a month. Uh, is there anything else that we could develop and do and offer our members to help them? And it turns out we could. So sometimes we'll create these reseller licenses for a limited time and we'll say, hey, listen, we're, we're running this limited promotion. You can promote this yourself. You can set it up yourself in your own cart. You can keep every lead. They're buyer leads. You make 100% of the profit and we want you to do that simply because then you will build an email list of buyers that when you promote our one big promotion of the month, you can make even more money, all right? So let me give you an example of one of these pages. And so this is a promotion that we offered on an evergreen basis that people on Affiliate Triad can tap into. It's a double your productivity for life product that I created that we just updated. We wrote some copy around it. You can even choose and edit this copy on, you know, how you want to position it to be the person that says, listen, I have the rights to sell you this product because that's important. And just, it's a full on sales letter. This isn't some half-assed attempt just to stack a bonus and pretend that we're adding value. And again, you can keep all the money from any sale that you would produce for something like this. So that's the second thing you get. Sometimes you get funnels too. You don't get reseller licenses. You just get done for you funnels in between promotions to help build your list, including you know, the lead generation tool, the thing that they get in exchange for their email, and that's yours. That's yours to use. That's yours to keep, all right? Is this beginner friendly from somebody who's never done this before? You absolutely bet it is. For each big promotion that we do, we document it in several ways and help assist you in implementing it for the massive, the most amount of success you have. But let's just give you an example of the master document. So regardless of where you're at, this more to show you the service of how we're trying to help you out and how to empower you. We document any and every possible thing that you would do for this promotion based on the resources and assets that we give you. So that way anybody can do this. I don't care what your skill level is. I don't care where you're starting at. We have documentation in triplicate format. We have the simple version. We have this most meticulous in-depth version and we have other training in between as well. So you know exactly what to do, when to do, how to do it as closely as humanly possible. It is probably over-documented, but better over than under. We also give you process maps where something, this happened organically. We had somebody come in, offer, do one of these, and we said, let's have you develop these now for each and every one that we do. And so now you have the visual elements. We give you the full webinar trainings where we go in depth on live talking to you about why this is set up this way and how to use this and how to set this up and how to leverage this. Something we started doing that we originally didn't do is what happens in between email promotions. So big promotion month one, big promotion month two oh yeah, our audience doesn't know about Cadence because we never taught them or we never told them, but it's really important to email your customers in between. So we just do it for you. What I mean by that is we write the emails for you and then you can load them up and use them. And again, just to show you, and by the way, there are members right now from Affiliate Triad looking at this very document. Uh, we just released a new document uh, the other day. So again, context, purpose, and then you can see 
These are just pure content-based emails, pure value add emails. These are not emails that are pitching and selling product, right? These are just to keep connection in alignment, in recency with an audience, right? And here's what one member says. I sent out one of these email swipes we were given yesterday, adding a bit of my voice so you can, you can edit these however you wish to. She said, I received a reply of thanking me for the message, bit by bit, one person at a time. So what we do is we help you in between commercial application of your email promotions with that content, that value building, that connection, that authority. We write these for you to use uniquely and specifically every single month. So you will have, and you will always have email taken care of for you if you're an affiliate try and member. Here's a big one, product review access. So we give our affiliate triad members access to review the product before they promote it. So some of these products, they're a pretty penny, right? They're worth it. But on the outside looking in, if you were trying to promote these, you'd have to buy each and every one. And if they were always a $2,000 course each month, but they're not, but that's just a simple math. You'd have to buy $24,000 worth of courses per year to have access to them. So you can speak to them from the inside and say, here's why you should buy this. Or yeah, I've looked at this product and it's amazing. We get product access for you to review it. And I can't describe to you how valuable this is. But Will and I use our insider information and connections and leverage and influence for your behalf. It's a hard negotiation. But we tell the people that we promote, you have to do this for all of our affiliate triad members. Otherwise, we won't promote you. While so these promotions are going Jason, on and being developed. Jason, yeah. a, go back one slide. I mean, that is, that is I, I want to emphasize how huge this is for several reasons. Number one, how can any affiliate truly promote a product? I don't understand this from an ethical and passionate perspective, because you said earlier, selling successful selling is a transference of feeling, right? And that is super powerful. If you are passionate about a product, you are the best salesperson in the world for that product, period. I don't care what technical sales experience you have or not. I guarantee that each and every person here on this webinar has been enthusiastic about a service or a product that they, them, they themselves have purchased in the past and they have sold someone else on it. They probably didn't make any money on it because it was just about passion, right? So passion and ethical and ethics are the best way to sell anything period ever. So if you want to make money as an affiliate, be passionate about the products you promote. Now, how can you be passionate passionate about a product, let's say you want to promote a $2,000 product that you've never seen, yep. right? It's not quite right. There's a disconnect there. Now, what if you get to see that product? Now, even better, what if you don't have to pay a dime to see that product? See the entire product, not the sales page, not the sales copy, not the preview video, but the entire course, or the entire program, or experience the entire the entirety of the service, right? Whatever the whatever it may be that's being sold. If you have full access to it, now you can say, "Wow, this is amazing," or "No, this this does this, this is no good. I, I don't want to promote it," right? Yeah. Which is unlikely because we're picking great things, but it could happen to somebody who dis disagrees, and that's fine. But but the ability for you to understand exactly what it is you're promoting is priceless. Now there's a side benefit as well. I don't want to focus on that too much, but it never, it never hurts from a learning perspective to have access to 2000, 3000, $5,000 products, especially yeah. at no cost. Right. And uh, so product review access is really critical. I would suggest that anybody who ever promotes plans to promote anything, get access to the product, even if they have to buy it. But in this case, our members get it for free. Yep, because people know when Will and I get behind a promotion, we do things nobody else does. So we can take that powerful position we have in the marketplace and use it to your advantage. You feel me on that? That's what we're really doing here. I also, when we're designing these promotions, because I'm, I'm creating the chief conversion material. I'm not outsourcing this. I'm doing it myself. I'm also giving you in promotion mode. I'm usually giving you an update 
at least every other day, if not every day. Here's where we're at. Here's why I did this. Here's the psychology behind this. Here's the positioning behind this. I liken this to me teaching you how to swim in the water as opposed to swim in the seminar room and then having you jump in on your own, right? And people have been going nuts over this stuff. They say the value in triad is amazing and unending. One year in triad will ultimately be a four-year degree and everything as we grow together and learn from two amazing teachers. And here's another one says, I appreciate you sharing your thoughts. I'm always amazed at how much this basic skill is missed by so many. Cause yeah, it puts it into context. And she says, thank you for your genuine desire to help us and push us and be honest with us. Getting good feedback in a direct way is so helpful because I will straight up tell them, this is what's working really well from affiliate triad members who I've seen. This is what needs to be adjusted if you really want to maximize your promotions as well as my own fault sometimes. Okay, here's what I did. Here's how I adjusted this. Here's how I ended up creating this. Here's how I got over this challenge on your behalf. So it's like real up to the moment promotional timing and nobody does that in this industry because they can't do both. They're not efficient enough to create it and document it. Now, a lot of what we do in Affiliate Triad is based around a community inside of Slack. And you won't see people use Slack because it's super expensive. We actually pay more than $10,000 a month to use Slack because we have to pay for each and every person who is inside of the Affiliate Triad program in Slack. But Slack is up to the moment. Um, there's no distractions in there. There's no all kinds of nonsense going around outside it, like maybe some other communities that you're a part of. And we do some really cool, powerful stuff in there that maybe we'll talk about here in a little bit. I'm also doing training sessions. So training sessions just in general, when I see um, things that people could use help with to make their promotions even better and their success online even more, I will sit down and do a training session. And like one gentleman said here, so Jason just finished listening to this four words here, blow my mind. And that wasn't related to this training. All these trainings are in a members area as well as in right in Slack that you can watch them directly in Slack uh, too. And if you don't know what Slack is, we can talk about that later. We're also giving resources as it makes sense. So in between, I want to arm you up with every advantage I possibly have. So I give you templates that you can turn into lead generation devices. And I give you other assets that you could leverage as well. Uh, since we've been in this program now for two months, we've had some members accelerate and help so much other people that we have made them mentors. And now these mentors, we have four really incredible mentors right now, they do weekly training calls. And so far we just instituted this new uh, policy of these mentors. The feedback we've gotten is just insanely incredible. And so these are successful affiliate triad members who are now helping other uh, triad members as well and being there for them and working with them, coaching them, mentoring them. And this is phenomenal as well. We do member spotlights. When a member does really good, we have a mentor interview them and capture, hey, how did you get successful promoting this thing? So we had somebody in the first promotion, they sold something like $30,000 or $35,000 right away into the program. And they told us on Slack. And so Will starts going back and forth with them, asking them about it, right? And then he's like, oh, I'm super excited. And then he said, would you share that with the community? They would. And so we, we interviewed them. We put the interview inside of Slack so you could watch it right there in line. And you can also access it in other places as well. And this is one of my favorite things because I believe everybody needs a Will, somebody that has their back and somebody that, because you can't watch your own back, right? So Will is the most hands-on person in Slack. He's posted more than anybody by far, 7,000 messages. Uh, he did the math on it. I can't remember what it is, but he averages uh, a ludicrous amount of messages each day inside of Affiliate Triad. Over, over 100 messages a day I reply to or write. So Will writes, I think it was 106 messages a day on Slack, either posts that he creates or replies to members. Um, this is how hands-on he is because while I'm creating things, Will's in there managing the community. I pop in there as well. I've posted over a hundred times, but that's not as impressive as Will 7,000. And we have other, like the mentors, a lot of them have posted a lot because they're supporting each other. And I could show you hundreds of these types of comments uh, praising Will because uh, he says more than a thank you. I can't imagine his level of patience and caring. Well, who I'm grateful to be here. What can you give a man that can afford anything he wants? Only prayer and respect. Or as this gentleman said, boom, your support goes so far that I only have to think of a possible solution. And when I wake up, you have already provided it. Uh, that's happened a lot because we kind of keep the pulse on what you need to. And another one, I want to thank you for your sincere dedication, as well as the long hours which you put in to make sure that each and every member of Philly Triad becomes successful in this program. Absolutely. We also have our support team in Slack with their own 
channel called triad support and this is as close to real-time support you'll ever get with anybody now our normal help desk support is unbelievable it is the best in the industry this is even better than this for our affiliate triad members we have our team actually in slack communicating with you as well and we don't want you to have to incur a whole bunch of other costs to make this business successful because we've identified that as one of the biggest ways that people lose in this business is they fall down because they can't afford to buy everything else and buy the program and this and that. So we have all these tools rebated back to you for your first full year in affiliate triad. So we use a system called Kartra for a lot of reasons, but the main reason is Kartra is able to do these kind of funnel like structures with tagging and lead capturing and emails based on this or emails based on this and fulfillment of product all automated with some really powerful stuff. But what's even greater than that is this is really hard for you to set up on your own until you're really experienced or we can just share our campaigns with you. And so these campaigns will have these assets that go with them. This is more than just sharing a funnel with you or a page this is like, okay, does it have tags for your emails? We share those too. Does it have emails that go out? We share those too. Does it create multiple different lists? Okay, great, we share those too. Are there different sequences in there? Yeah, you got those shared as well. Forms, yep, products, yep, automation, yep, and on and on and on. And so when you get something, it is so pre-configured for you with all the powerful marketing automation in place, it's kind of like a light switch. You don't have to understand electricity to turn the lights on, you just flip a switch, right? It also has really powerful email capabilities as good as anything else that you can buy off the shelf unless you're wanting to spend tens of thousands of dollars a month. So you can use this for your own email marketing efforts on top of or in conjunction with this. And you can build your own list separately and independently from anything you do inside of Affiliate Triad and have all the data available to you. You can edit the pages we give you if you wanna customize them in any way or you can create your own pages. So if you ever need to create pages, this is the best page builder I have found. It's better than any other one that I have ever used or ever seen anybody else use. And it gives you full analytics so you know everything that's going on. So my guess is right now, you're probably thinking, damn, I wanna get in on this. How much does it cost, Jason? It's probably expensive, isn't it? Yeah, well, expensive is relative. I don't know what expensive means to you, but I think in relation to the value that I've given and shown you that you get inside of Affiliate Triad, I think you're gonna be very pleasantly surprised at your investment here today. Here's what you gotta do. You're gonna sign up. And this is $3.49 per month. You can cancel anytime. That's it. So this isn't like a lot of businesses where you have to be like, I'm gonna jump all the way in and put a whole bunch of money down up front. I truly believe that once we get you in and make you very successful and give you all these resources and all this kind of other stuff that we have, then it'll be obvious for you to stay in if it is. And so we are able to give you value above and beyond what most 2,000, 5,000 or $10,000 courses are gonna offer you because we know over time by creating that value for you, we hope to make you a lifer. So it's 349 per month, no obligation beyond the first month, just try it out. And by the way, I forgot to put this on the slide, but Will and I will even give you your 349 back if you want it. All you gotta do is answer one question that we will ask you. It's the one question answered money back guarantee. We're just gonna ask you one simple question and whatever your response is, if you give it to us, we'll even give you your 349 back, all right? But it's just 349 to get started. And I think Peter said it best. He goes, here's my elevator pitch for affiliate triad. So this is inside our Slack community, right? Because I see things this way because I consult for Disney and live in Orlando, Florida. It says, Jason and Will are cleaning up the game. Just draw the parallel how Walt Disney reinvented the amusement business. He changed the paradigm forever and has become the standard for the industry. Much like Affiliate Triad will do for our industry. Too many of the players in affiliate marketing are just like the carnies of old. A traveling circus, always moving from here to there. A den of thieves, carnival barkers, all means of languid, greedy reprobates. Sounds like some affiliates and gurus. Affiliate Triad is legitimizing our trade. It is to become the gold standard by which all others are judged. It will expose and eventually flush out the shysters. It's a BMW dealership in a row of used car lots. I couldn't have said it better if I tried. That's the greatest bit of copy I could ever write to sell Affiliate Triad. And that came from somebody who genuinely was just enthusiastic to be part of this community in this group. The real value of this thing is actually way higher than $78,000. Uh, it is. Uh, it just felt ridiculous for me to put the actual true value. So that was the lowest value I could assign to this thing and still do it justice. There is really far beyond that in terms of what you get here. But you don't have to believe me. You just have to try it out and see for yourself. Do we actually do the things that we say we're going to do? 
Don't you think that we do? I think that we do. But just see for yourself because the best way you can really understand the true value of affiliate triad is to experience it. It's just 349 to experience it. And then you're locked in by the way. So if this price goes up in the future, your membership dues don't go up. They stay locked in at this investment. All right, 349 a month. Now, by the way, just to be very clear here, here's how you make money with Affiliate Triad. Not only do I think this is the greatest education you could ever get in your online business, just purely from the trainings, from the webinars, from the support, from the community, from the over the shoulders, and on and on and on. But here's the main way that you will make money. Each month we pick an offer. So for an example, we pick the wholesale formula in May. And then you sign up and promote as an affiliate, just like any other affiliate would do it. You promote it and you get 50% of the sale. So whatever that commission is that the vendor pays, that's yours, all right? Just to be clear, we get a cut from the vendor for anybody that we refer, but you get your 50% no matter what. So this is like affiliate marketing. Think about it this way. You know how I would create a bonus package and if you buy through my link, you get my bonuses for free? This is like you sell and you get the money any other affiliate would get promoting this offer. And then we get extra money on top of that, not out of your piece of the pie, but out of the vendors, right? So the wholesale formula was $24.97. You get 50% of that. So a single sell makes you about $1,250, $1,250. So if you were to produce one single sell of that, you would pay for several months, really, of affiliate triad. That's how it is. So you get the same value in money that any affiliate would ever make. Now in this particular case, this just goes to show you our clout and our pull. The wholesale formula was not available for anybody else. It is only open one time a year. We negotiated with the vendor to do a private opening and there's no way anybody else could do that unless they have the clout that we have. So we give you as many unfair advantages as possible because I want my customers to have an unfair advantage. I want them to succeed. So at these internet marketing conferences, when all these guys are beating their chest, talking about how great they are, I pull you guys out and say, look at my customers. They seem to succeed at a much higher rate than your customers do. And I drop the mic and walk away. And so we get, I could show you several of these messages. This is honestly, I keep getting confirmation that I have made the best business decision that is going to pay off 10 years to come, three sales in one day. Woohoo, right? So that is a $3,600 cash in pocket day. That is a lot of money, right? I don't care who you are. That's a lot of cash, right? And here's another one. Thanks for the awesome job, Will and Jason. My membership in AT has been covered for 20 months from the very first promotion. That's the first way you can make money. Here's another way you can make money. Use our reseller funnels. So like double your productivity, which is available to you to use when you sign up. 10, say, 10 bucks is 10 bucks, right? Or it's 9.95 to be technical, right? That's all yours. You get to keep all that money. I mean, there's like a merchant fee that maybe gets taken out of that, but whatever the actual net is on that, which is like nine bucks or whatever, that's your money. You keep it 100% and even better, you get the customer in your system. And then you can market the products that we pick and use the done for you assets and resources that we offer to you in order to be successful with it, right? And here's an example, because we did this for another one, a pop-up type of evergreen offer. And he's like, crazy amounts of sales during these last hours before the offer expires. I imagine they will skyrocket at the last minute before the car closes and there will probably be a few thousand people that will have to be in the wait list. We give you some really powerful free and paid funnels that will make you money that have been optimized, created for you. You just deploy them and you keep all the profits. And then how else can you make money? Um, because we allow you to collect the leads if you so choose. You can do whatever you want with those leads. Uh, you can market to those people however you see fit in between promotions or on top of them or whatever you want to do. And we give you advice and insight and training and support on how to do that as well. All of this is available to you um, to try out for just $349. And I love what this guy says right here. He says, I'm still feeling like you guys forgot a digit for the affiliate triad deal. Getting the super high in funnels and being able to benefit from Jason's amazing skills at closing deals is not the most valuable part of the membership. It is being on the inside and learning from a master at how to think and organize our thoughts with these marketing campaigns every single month. Seeing how they approach things and break down each new opportunity, that's where the special sauce lives. Thank you, Jason and Will, for allowing me the opportunity to learn and prosper from your gifts, all right? And I could show you more. We have 243 pages of people singing praises for affiliate triad and talking how powerful it has been and how helpful it has been for them in their 
experience as a customer. That's how powerful this is. Our goal is to break the Google Doc. We want to see how many pages we get before Google says you can't add any more pages. I feel like we're going to get there before the end of the year, if not sooner. Case in point, because we got your back in this business. This is something I cannot overstate. Most marketers prey on you and take advantage of you because it's lucrative in the short term to do that. And Will and I try to engineer situations where the more we help you, the more successful we are. I'm just the other day, Will posted this. This wasn't even in our 243 page document of praise, but this, just to give you an idea, there you go, going above and beyond once again. Thank you both for your generosity. Another one says, this is truly above and beyond. Sorry, this is covering up over here, so I can't read it. You guys are awesome, but you know that already. You guys are going above and beyond. Thank you so much. You guys are just incredible. Well over and above the call of duty. I'm not even going to get, uh, so there it is again, the urge to jump the computer and give Wilson Matos a big hug. And I don't even have any money coming my way. I have no desire to hug Will, but maybe a crisp high five. I certainly would hug Will uh, over everything he does for us. He has done uh, for me, were I able to do so, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. You get the point, right? When the time comes when we have to step to bat for you or help you out or go above and beyond for you and fix things that other people try to do or mess up or screw up or that we even screw up because sometimes we screw up, right? We fix it. We make it right. We are your advocate. We make sure that somebody has your back in this shark infested waters. And that just happened, I believe, yesterday or the day before as an example of up to the moment, right? A brilliant mistake that I forgot that I was planning on doing this morning and just totally slipped my mind, right? One of the most powerful ways that we can price affiliate try it at this and develop and add all this extra stuff to it and rebate you for the full marketing automation stack and all that software that goes along with it so you can remove all these extra costs and all that kind of stuff, right? Is because the more you sell, the more money we make. So at the risk of making Will mad, because it's going to be hard for me to explain visually, and I was going to diagram it, but I just plain straight up forgot, is here's the deal, right? Say there's $100 on the table. And let's say that if you get somebody to walk across the room, you get $50 out of that $100. So that's your 50%, right? I get $10 every time you get $50. And the vendor gets $40. Okay, so let me be very clear about that. Anytime you make a sale, I also get a second level commission. I also make money. But never, ever, ever does it come out of your share. Not a single time, right? Whatever you get making a sale for that promotion we pick, that's yours. I go to the vendor and say, you give me a cut for every sale I bring to you. And he takes it or she takes it out of their pocket and pays me. And so here's what Will and I have really designed at the end of the day, which is why we do this. Uh, among all the other things, we believe we have the best program to do this because we've aligned all of our efforts together. Where I am now financially incentivized at a very real level to make you more money. Because if I have my affiliate triaders going out there making all these sales, that's going to make me more money than if I tried to make all the sales myself, by far. Even better, that allows me to stay in my zone which is in the conversion and the bonus creation and picking and negotiating the promotions for you. And I'll leave it to you to take care of whatever else you want to take care of, right? Or to fill in any blanks or gaps you want to fill in. And so if I have you out there making a million dollars in sales and we've had a promotion that's done a million dollars, right? At the very least, I get a hundred thousand dollars of that. Not out of your share, by the way, out of the vendors. Because a vendor says, wow, Jason, you brought me more sales and more people promoting me and sending me sales than anybody ever has. And I get a taste from their end of the profit. This is that really- That was a great explanation, Jason. That was super awesome and easy to follow. And, and it's, it's important for everyone here to understand the difference between affiliate triad and almost any other program that I've ever seen online to help people build online businesses and generate income from an online business. In a traditional program, and I want everybody to think about any program, course, service they've ever purchased, right? In a traditional program, the vendor sells you something or the affiliate promotes something to you and the vendor sells you something. And that is supposed to drive some result. But the vendor from that product's perspective is pretty much done. 
Like that's how they make their money by selling you something. Right. So your results aren't really their concern. Now, I'm not saying that they don't care about your results. Hopefully they care about you being successful because then they can later sell you something else, right? And that's how they will make more money if they sell you something else, right? An affiliate triad, we don't try and sell you anything else. You're an affiliate triad member and we get paid big money from the vendors when you succeed. So we are month after month after month motivated and incentivized to help you succeed. The more money you make, the more money we make directly. I'm not talking like because you will be happy and buy something else from us later. I'm talking about on a monthly basis. The more money you make, the more money we make. Yeah. So, so we, are, we are perfectly aligned and incentivized month after month to help you fulfill your goals. Yeah. And just to be clear too, we also promote these offers. Now we do it just to our internal list. Will and I are not out there advertising it on Facebook. We're not out there trying to hustle and get new customers. We already have our email list. And that's it. So we test that out at the same time you're promoting it so we can give you insight and we can fine tune funnels out or add things to them based on the data that we have. But ultimately the biggest leverage we have to grow our business is your success. The more money you make, the more money we make and not in a roundabout way, right? Cause oftentimes I'll use that line as a sales technique when I'm on a webinar like this, cause I'm saying, Hey, if you have more money, you have more money to spend with me. Right? So that's me saying, I want to sell you other things in the future. And so I want to increase your bank account so you can spend more stuff with me out of that big, large pool of money that I've just made you. And that's a very indirect way of what I'm talking about. The more successful you are, the more successful I am. In this particular instance, there is no indirectness about it. It's like, <laughs> I make more money when you make more money at the time you make more money without you having to pay me out of your pool of money whatsoever, right? That's the play here. And it's fascinating how well that this has worked out, even though we've been in this game for just two months and sort of affiliate triad. You can't imagine what this is going to be like in the future. Now, obviously, the price is going to continue to go up as we continue to enhance it even further. So that way we really bring in the people that are committed and ready to be successful. So on one hand, it's kind of dangerous to price something this low compared to the value that you get from it. Um, but I believe in you. And that's why I want to do this because here's the thing, other people out there, they don't want beginners to promote their product because they say, Oh, it's babysitting and it's too much work and it's too much effort. I'd rather just sell them the course. Right. And unfortunately, it makes sense a lot of times because it takes a lot of effort, as you can see here, right? <laughs> in order to help somebody get started in this business. Now, by the way, if you're already an existing affiliate who does okay, you would be insane if you didn't say yes to this. I would suggest you get your head checked because you sh more than anybody know exactly what I'm talking about. So you more than anybody would know on the outside looking in what the value is that we have for you here, right? But what Will and I do is, and he's not a sports guy, and I am, and I know it's dangerous to use sports metaphors on webinars, right? But I like this as a farm league. So uh, my wife and I, our favorite baseball team is the St. Louis Cardinals, and they're the, most, they're the second most successful team in, the, in baseball. The Yankees are number one, but the Yankees have way more money to spend, uh, which is not fair, but whatever, right? So St. Louis, in order to be competitive, they built a farm league system. They invented that. So they invested in people and then they help develop them into superstar players as opposed to break out their checkbook and just buy superstar players. And hopefully I haven't offended any of you Yankee fans, right? Uh, but I, I, I relate more to that little guy and little gal. And that's what we're doing here. We know through our patience and through our resources and our never ending commitment to help mold you and develop you in to the superstars of tomorrow, right? We know that that will pay off. The good news is because Will and I have been so successful in this business, we have so much more insight to give because we've been doing this for so long and have invested in so many resources on behalf of you. We can leverage those and deploy those for you because we have so much expertise in so many of these other areas. So really, honestly, I don't understand why anybody wouldn't say yes to this even if you don't plan on doing affiliate marketing just from all the other things that we have here. But I also know it's hard when you don't have that one big bright shining light that you can rally your sales message behind. 
this is a thing that is multi-valuable and has multi-different things that are awesome in it. And the risk in selling you something like that is people would rather in general have this one big message and be hit over the head with it a million times. They get that. This is a little bit more complicated than that because there's so much here and so much to unpack that it's, we, we run a risk of maybe confusing you and saying, I don't really know what, what I get on this thing or where should I start or that kind of stuff. So I would, I'd like to hope that we have a little bit of time and you have some questions that I could potentially shed some light on because I don't think, I, I can't come up with a reason why it wouldn't other than you literally, $349 is too much for you. And maybe that's the case, but maybe it isn't either. So let's take a look at it. Jason, here's, here's a, a very common question. It's been asked a bunch of times in the chat. What if I don't have an email list? We've talked about how important yes. an email list. So you are exactly who we have in mind. If you have an email list and you don't sign up for quadwin.com, I will find you and we will sit down and I'm going to give you a lecture, right? Because <laughs> if you have an email list, done, okay? Bye, it's as simple as that, right? This was designed for those of you who do not have an email list because regardless of whatever you do online, the activities we have you do are gonna be worth doing no matter what. We just added in the extra step. See, most affiliates, the people, they never let them build an email list for the products that they promote. You have to go out of your way and build around it just to have any hope to have your own email list, right? And Will and I identified that as a flaw. That's not cool. We don't want to limit or hamper you from that ability. So here's what happens if you don't have an email list, okay? Step number one, anybody here who doesn't have an email list, regardless if you invested in this or not, here's the very first thing you should be doing in your internet marketing business. Work towards building an email list. And that's true no matter what. So in the Amazon business, Will, right? We were always successful at ranking our products really high and selling a lot of them. Why? Because we can send an email out and say, go buy this product here. And overnight we would rank our product. Simple as that, right? Doesn't matter what business you're in, an email list is gonna be key. So get an email list, no matter what. The real so question is, how should I build that email list? You gotta have something to give away, either paid or free. We give you that in Affiliate Triad. You gotta have the technology in place so it runs. We give you that in Affiliate Triad. You gotta know how to write emails. We give you those emails. You can adjust them if you want to or you can mail them as is, right? You gotta have the consistency of good, not just great quality emails, but consistently the cadence of those sent out. We give you that, right? I'm a huge fan of having you learn through experience as opposed to learning through information. And so what's cool is we substitute what you may not know in information with resources. And then when you log in and say, wow, this happened when I put this email in. Whoa, look at this over here happening. You will learn something that you can't learn any other way. And so I believe that we have designed the single greatest email marketing building opportunity that anybody ever has. And that wasn't even the main purpose of this program. <laughs> that was just like an accidental Viagra-like side effect to it. Uh, so yes, if you don't have an email list yet, you need to get one. And then the question is, how should you go about getting one without Affiliate Triad or with Affiliate Triad? And I am 100% confident that Affiliate Triad is gonna solve that because otherwise you'd have to go out and buy an email um, service providing kind of software to send emails to and from. You'd have to create either a free PDF or something to give away. You'd have to build the squeeze page, build the thank you page, and then build the follow up emails. Um, doing that all on your own will, will be more costly to you than investing $349 in Affiliate Triad. So and Jason, a tiny here's benefit the by the way. Yeah, here, so here's the bottom line, right? If anybody wants to build any, any type of successful online business, they must build an email list. So that's Sooner a, or later, right? Sooner or later. It's a given. So it's not an if, it's a, it's a when, right? You absolutely must do it. Now, if you must do it, there are different paths to do it. Now, in each path, you are required to give people a reason to give you an email address. The best reason to is a great product that you can sell them or some kind of free resource like an ebook or a checklist or something that says, wow, I want that. I'll exchange that for my email address. Now, if you don't, if you do it outside of affiliate triad, 
not only do you have to figure out how to get people to your opt-in page or to your sales page, but you also have to build those sales pages. You have to build the free gift or you have to create the product. Yeah. With affiliate triad, all of that is done for you. All you have to do is get people to the page. That's it. Yeah. I want to show, so, so like so this for example, say, right? But I don't know how to get people to the page. Well, no matter what you want to do, you're going to have to learn that. But do you want to learn only that? with the ways we're going to train you and the ideas that members will share with each other and, and the wonderful community behind you. Do you want to learn just how to get people to that offer page or to that opt-in page? Or do you want to get, learn to do that? Plus create the pages, set up the technology, create the gifts, create the product, set up the shopping cart and, and, and write the emails and, and continue having more follow-up emails that you have to write all the time to keep that list engaged with you over time. Do you wanna do all that or do you just wanna learn how to get people to a page? That's it. Now let, well, let's be clear. You could sign up for another program that promises you free lead gen reports done for you, right? You could sign up for another program that would say, we're gonna do follow-up email on your behalf. We're gonna write it for you and preload it or load it in or do whatever, right? You could do that. I'm just gonna tell you this. In my experience, and tell me if this rings true with you, anybody listening on this call right now, right? The eBooks that you get or the free gifts that you get are made by somebody on like Fiverr or VWorker or third-party outsourcing sites, not by a multi-million dollar marketer. The emails you get are from somebody who's not a professional email copywriter. The technology, if it's set up for you, it's very inflexible and it's more house of cards-ish. And it's limited still in the automation and the advanced targeting and tagging technology and all that other stuff that would probably make your head spin if you try to wrap your head around it, right? So even, so you can do it on your own, which I think we all agree is really hard to do. I mean, sometimes you have to. I did it because I wanted to do it anyway because I knew it was valuable. So even though I, I made 60 bucks, spending $1,000 to make $60 and spending 30 hours to do it, it paid off in the end for me, right? but I spent many nights sleeping on a floor until it paid off. Literally, I'm not joking. I slept on the carpet because I couldn't afford a bed and a desk, right? And so you can invest instead of doing it on your own. And then what do you invest in to do that? I will tell you, we're developing these materials for you. We understand what we're doing. A lot of this comes directly from my brain to you or through my brain from our team then adjusted and optimized. You will not get a better quality thing. And again, let's just be very clear here. This is a side benefit. This is just an extra thing that we saw that could get in the way of somebody succeeding, meaning getting in the way of you not making me more money. Because <laughs> the more money you make, the more money I make. So I, I, I am intolerant of anything that could stop you from making more money. So we will sooner or later solve that problem for you. And in two months, look at how far we've come thus far. It's insane. It is crazy. The biggest problem is I haven't had time to officially adjust the marketing to reflect that. This is why this was like a, a pop-up kind of webinar because affiliate triad, we can't open it up hardly ever because we're so busy supporting affiliate triad members and helping them with their promotion that we don't have time. It's a cobbler's kids have no shoes type of situation, right? That's what this is. Now, by the way, I know another big objection wheel is traffic. How do I get people to these offers? Well, here's the greatest thing of all, you crowdsource that. So every single month we have many, many members being successful. My favorite thing is this. It reminds me of Anna, one of our members who was successful. She isn't a guru like me. She doesn't have a pre-built audience or this or that, right? She has ingenuity. And Anna went out there and applied ingenuity and was very successful. And then we spotlighted her as a member spotlight. And she was more than happy to share. And I will tell you, our members resonated with that more, I think, than me training them on the same tactics because they could see themselves in Anna's shoes because she was more where they were at and less where I am at. Now we give you both perspectives. We give you the, the master at the top of the mountain, me looking down and giving you the, the lay of the land, but we also get the ground up viewpoint. Ishan, same thing. Uh, how he was able to make his, I think it was like 16 sales of a $2,500 product from scratch, right? We document that. So every single time a member does something really powerful, 
we capture it and they're more than happy to share because they know everybody, well, anybody's success is everybody's success. See, that's the other problem with internet marketing. It is a very lonely business where it's like dog eat dog. Everybody seems to be divided up and against each other, right? Or they're lonely. They're all on their own. We create this community because I'm, I'm also intolerant of people that want to create division. That's not my game. We want to bring people together because I've made enough money to where I don't have to tolerate pettiness and arguments and people that aren't willing to accept that role of let's go in this together and let's help each other out. That's part of our culture, right? So when you sign up, that's what you're also getting in this very powerful, very wonderful community at quadwin.com. And yeah, you're going to have to learn. The community is amazing, Jason. The community is honestly the best part, which is the I, hardest I live, thing to I live, in that com- I live in that community. Everybody in the community is my family, which is why I have over a hundred posts a day since we started this on average, right? Because yep. The community is like a family. Not only is it like a family, it's better than a family in some cases because there is no pettiness going on. And all families have petty arguments right. and, and strifes, right? We don't have that in the affiliate triad. In the last 70 plus days that affiliate triad has been in existence, there has been one single thread where it was starting to kind of sort of borderline head towards a negative direction. And I read every single thread in there. So I told, I, I asked members, let's abandon this thread and no more. And yeah. everybody was just like, thank you for stopping this. There is no negativity. There is no bullying. There is no trolls in there. Yeah, right? No posturing no, either, right? No posturing. No, I mean, it's just, it truly is. Yeah. And, and I can, I am biased, of course, but, but members have told us this too. It truly is the best community that I have ever been a part of online. N- hands down, no questions. It's, it, it's one of those situations. We are so far ahead of number two. <laughs> I don't know who number two is, that they probably think they're the best because we're so far ahead of them. It, it doesn't, they can't even see us, right? <laughs> it's just the way, it's just the way that it, that it goes. Yeah. Um, so I have some other questions here, Jason, that I, that I would like to, that I would like to address. We are reimbursing the cost of Kartra as part of this. And, and this is related to a question that what other fees do I have to pay? What other expenses do I have to have? This is another unique part of this program. The only other expense that you really are required to have is, is, a marketing platform that does your emails that can host your pages and all that stuff. And when we created the Philly triad, it was, we decided that we don't want you to incur any additional expense beyond your monthly fee to affiliate triad. So we said, you know what, as part of that membership, we are going to pay for Kartra. We're going to reimburse you. You have to pay it yourself, but there's a reimbursement twice a year. We do a reimbursement. It's all on the page. If you look at quadwin.com on the bottom of that page, it explains in detail. We don't like to hide anything, nor do we like to make anything confusing or complicated. So it, all the details are there with all the dates and all the specifications. By the way, when you sign up for Kartra, you only need the basic account. Later, you may need a better, a bigger level account. Yep. But you don't need it to start with. You can do everything on the basic account. And it's and a dollar later, trial that we recommend. grows and you need more, it doesn't matter that you have to pay Kartra a little more because your business has grown. You can afford it, right? But the idea is we don't want you to spend anything else. So we are not going to be recommending any tools you have to buy. We're not going to give you any services you need to buy. We're not going to be uh, selling you uh, an affiliate triad, uh, anything else besides what you pay us on the monthly on the monthly service in fact we do not even allow members to post affiliate links to anything in the membership it's one of the things there's no promotion going on in there there right. there are talks about tools and services people have used and stuff like that that's fine but there's never a a a uh, self self promotion or promotion of affiliate links or any of that now uh you are responsible for traffic you are responsible for getting people to your offer pages, your lead capture pages, the promotion materials and all that. Some members choose to pay for traffic. That is an additional expense, but it isn't a required expense because 
there are a lot of members and you will learn a lot about this from the community itself and from ideas that we will give you. There are a lot of ways to drive traffic for free, right? S paid traffic has a place for sure if you want to do it. But I, we never want you to feel like you have to do it because there are definitely other ways to, to do yeah. it. And even if you do pay traffic, the best strategies on paid traffic is very little money on paid traffic. It's not hundreds of dollars, it's tens of dollars. Right. Yeah, and you have models that will teach you that based on our community of successful people. Well, I didn't have time to put this on the slide, but if, if you, the number of members in the first month of affiliate triad who merely logged in at least one time to the members area, right? 25% of them sold over $2,500. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And 25%, it's sad. And I will put this out to you who's going to join us. When you join us, participate. And by the way, participate doesn't mean you have to post and share your life story. This is not what it's about, right? Yeah. Participate meaning as in execute what you learn. Execute yeah, or log learn. into the members area, right? Log into the members area, sign up for Slack and w just watch. Even if you don't, by the way, you will feel compelled. Even if, there, I cannot tell you how many stories, how many posts there were of members saying, I never, I never post in communities that I'm a member of. I like to just watch but I can't help myself but post here, right? Because it's just that type of community. It's so safe and, so and normal helpful. to do it. But even yeah. if you just want to watch, it's okay for you to watch for a while. Make sure that you are also doing the work that we teach you to do because it's really sad, but a quarter of our members, 25% of all our members in the past, literally did nothing. Literally they didn't log in. Nothing. Yeah. Yep. They, did not, they did not import one of the funnels we gave them. They did not even sign up for an affiliate account. Not even signed up. I'm not talking about sending traffic. I'm talking about they, didn't, they did not even sign yep. up. Yep. And I don't like that. For the affiliate program. And we hate that, right? Yeah, and, it probably cost me $100,000. Not, not for lack of us trying because we keep prodding everybody to, to make sure they do it, right? And we keep giving them resource after resource after resource, member spotlight after member spotlight after member spotlight. We just, we literally just added this past week, the mentor program where we now have four mentors who hold Q and A calls yeah. and, and uh, they have office hours to help members and, and uh, answer questions and, and share ideas of how they're successful in affiliate triad. So you have, all the resources you could possibly have. Now, Jason, I want to talk about the guarantee because you talked about it very briefly, right? Yeah. When yeah, you yeah. join Affiliate Triad, you can cancel at any time. But for the very first month, we have a guarantee that we call the one question asked. This is not a no questions asked. It's a one question asked guarantee or actually one question answered. We don't, we don't have to ask, but you have to tell us. If, after the, if, if within the first 30 days, you do not feel you've gotten way more value for you, value for you out of your 349 investment. I want you to just tell me, Will or Jason, write to support at rapidcrush.com says, I want to cancel my membership and I want a refund of my 349 because I did not get enough value out of the program. Yep. That's the only thing you got to answer to us. Is, you have to did tell you get, us. You can't yeah. say, you know, like I need a refund. I just want a refund or I want a refund because this is not for me. I want a refund because I changed my mind. You have to tell us, I want the refund because I did not receive more than $349 worth of value to me. Yep. That's it. You got to yeah, put us it in that. your own words if you want to, but you just got to tell us, I don't feel like this was worth 349. Yeah. And, and if, if it was worth more than 349, and if you tell me I want to cancel, but it was worth more than 349, then we won't issue a refund. We'll just let you cancel. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Because, because it's a fair exchange. You've gotten more than 349 of value out of it. We should be able to keep your 349, right? Yep. It's a fair Absolutely. exchange of value for money. If you did not get value, then tell us and we will refund you within 30 days. This is not valid for the second or third or fourth month or any or any or beyond, right? Within the first 30 days. Now, here's the other beauty of it. You get to the way we structure this, this opening of this opportunity for you to join Affiliate Triad is such that 
you will experience the full gamut of affiliate triad. We will start with a new member training on June 30th, which is the day after this offer goes away. Yep. So on June 30th, which is Tuesday, you will get indoctrinated. You will get taught how to go about being successful in affiliate triad. Then right after that, you will be able to take advantage of your initial funnel that we will give you and a reseller license to a product so that you can start setting it up in Kartra and collecting your leads or sending traffic to it, right? Then on July 16th is, our, is the card open. By the way, there'll be a lot of training between now and then uh, on, on the promotion. But on July 16th is the first promotion that, um, that we will, you will do as a new member. And it goes until the 22nd of July. Guess what? That is way before that promotion ends, way before your 30-day guarantee, one question answer guarantee, right? So you get to experience the entire program. So this isn't like drip fed content. You get to see some things, but you don't really get to do. You get to see and do everything before you ever have to decide of whether you want to stick in affiliate triad or not. Now, affiliate triad is three forty nine a month. Bef and, and, and this is, Jason might be mad at me for saying this now. Affiliate triad, when we first opened it, it was two ninety nine dollars a month. And we, we said at that time, the price is going to go up. And it's going to go up fairly regularly when the opportunity comes up again, right? So if you pass it up right now, next time, it may be even more, cost you even more. But when you sign up today, you're going to be locked at three forty nine, and it will never go up for you. Even if it goes up to a thousand or two thousand or three thousand dollars a month, which, by the way, I don't know when that will happen, but at some point, we will be charging at least a thousand dollars a month. Yeah, at least. And there are specific reasons for that we don't have to get into. But at some point, the price is going to gradually go up, and 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 the way the price is going to go up and the way that it's going to be justified is because there's value being stacked every single month. The members that joined the first month at 299, they didn't have mentors. We didn't have a mentor program. The, the, the members that joined the first month, they didn't have right away an opportunity to start monetizing affiliate triad right off the bat with a done for you funnel that they can get to keep all the, all the, uh, the profits from and build a list in the meantime that came afterwards that came way past their first month right yeah. so you get those opportunities right away so in the future when other people join when we decide to reopen it again it will likely cost more and more and more and more so can you pass on this right now and wait for the eventual reopening of this opportunity sure you can expect that you're going to pay more yeah. and I, I've, I've spoken to a lot of prospects in the past and the answer that the reason people don't join is, oh, I don't have a list or I don't have this or I don't have that. Well, if you're going to develop that, what better way to develop it than with the expert, high quality, high converting tools and funnels and products that we give you in order to do it? There is just absolutely no better way. And by the way, we have some very experienced marketers that are in the Philly triad. And for them, it's a godsend because we've just taken out a whole lot of work from them so they can focus on their marketing. We yeah. also have members who, by the way, have been Rapid Crush customers for a long time and, and members that are brand new to Rapid Crush had never heard of us and an affiliate of ours introduced them to us. Members who have never made a dime online. There's a gentleman who I, I happen to be friends with, have become friends with because he's been a customer for a long time. And he's never really had any success. And he never built a list. Out of the very, he joined the very first month we opened Affiliate Triad. He, in his first month, his name is John. John, in his first month, built a list of 61 people. 61, just 61 people. I'm not talking about 6,100 or 61,000. I'm talking about 61 people and he made four sales of our first promotion, which was the wholesale formula and earned himself $5,000 in commissions. Yep. 
first money he's ever made as an affiliate in his whole life, right? And he did it starting from zero. Will you have the same results? I don't know. I can't tell you that. But I also know of Lorena, who also started with no list. She's one of our mentors now, by the way. She's, got, she's gotten so successful and so helpful so fast. She's one of our mentors. Lorena started with a list of zero and built her list to 18 people in the first month. I think that's correct, Lorena. If you're listening, maybe you can tell it. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Uh, it was 18 and Jody said yes. So 18 people in the first month. And I believe Lorena made two sales. Anna is another one of our mentors. Anna has made a couple of sales. One sell the first time, I think, Anna, or two sells the first time and, and one and two the second time. Anna has a list of 40 people. You don't need a huge list. And here's, the, here's why you don't need a huge list. Because we teach you to build a list of qualified individuals. Qualified individuals. And we teach you how to provide value beyond belief. Value beyond belief. So that you can reach out to any potential contact you have and be proud of being of putting the offer in front of them you yeah. can feel proud of promoting with passion because you've gotten to see the product you've gotten to see the bonuses that we create for the product and jason said it earlier but we are the only marketers that i know of on the on the planet who have sold a five thousand dollar product as an affiliate and have had people buy a product they already had again because they didn't buy from us the first time. They bought the product again only to get our bonuses because we told them. They came to us and says, hey, can I pay you $1,000 for the bonus? No, we don't sell our bonus package. We would have made a lot more money if we sold our bonus package. But the only way to get our bonus package was to purchase the main product that we were promoting. And so people said, but I already have it. It says, too bad. Go buy it again. So they paid for something they already had, again, just for the bonus package. Just for the bonus package. Yep. And we've done this over a thousand times in the last few years because our bonus packages are so incredible. So when you promote as an affiliate triad member, not only are you promoting valuable products you're passionate about, but you're promoting insane bonus packages that are oftentimes most times I would venture to say more valuable than the product itself. Yep. And that's based on some really solid psychological marketing principles that we have developed over time, which state that the bonuses are always more powerful from a persuasion element than the product is, but we live it. We don't just pay lip service to the theory. And that's one of the ways that Will and I do that. Now it's really hard, incredibly hard, super technical, right? Yeah. which is one of the so, why Will and I have done so well. We want you to tap into that. So by the way, affiliate triad is not a new concept. Will and I did this back in ASM. One of the ways that we made so much money is we would convince other affiliates to partner with us. But here's how that conversation went. We went, hey, listen, you usually make 50% of the sale, right? We want you to only make 25% of the sale. We want you to split your half with us. And that was super hard sell for me to make. I was able to make it. Will was able to make it. He did this too and convince other people to try it. It was too tedious though. And really it is like when people have made themselves somewhat successful on this business, sometimes they either become a prima donna or they are very picky about certain things of little consequence or they're just afraid that you're going to screw up their reputation, right? So there's a lot of intricacies in that. And Will and I would just start pulling our hair out because it's a big ask to give somebody have somebody give up half their profits, right? And I have to double their conversion for them to make the same amount of money, right? It also wasn't scalable though. Each one was a new conversation I'd have with each individual when we would sit down. And so we gave up on that model. We walked away from it. And then Will was the genius that came to me and says, listen, can we do that again? But this time not take a single penny of our partner affiliates money. We'll take a cut from the vendor and we'll just charge like a Costco membership style model, right? So you know how Costco, you pay to shop in Costco? For us, you pay to get access to all these things. And that was the kernel of the idea that was born. So month one of Affiliate Triad with all these successful people, they only had really that one big angle, which is we'll pick the product, 
we'll create the promotional materials for it and the bonuses and you can tap into it. And then that's when we started doing more of the over the shoulder insights because people found those so valuable. So we said we should do more of that. We didn't know at first if we were going to get product review access. Because imagine me being able to say, yeah, I think this guy that sells this product for $2,500 is going to allow all my affiliate triad, triad members access to review it, right? But then soon it became clear to us once we got the initial results back that we made that mandatory and nobody's blinked an eye because we just showed them the numbers and they say, oh yeah, that makes sense, right? Um, Will and I did not have the plan for the reseller licenses, but we identified another gap is we want people to make money in between the big promotions. We don't want people to be on a roller coaster, like make a lot of money and then wait, I don't care how much money you make. When you don't have the opportunity to make money in a program continually, it does feel a little uneasy. So we solved that, right? And we added in the near real-time support by putting our, our, our uh, members of our support team inside of Slack and, and on and on and on. By the way, Slack's free for you to join. I pay for your Slack access and, or Will and I pay for it, the company pays for it, right? Uh, I believe Slack is the single greatest way to build a virtual community. If you don't know Slack, Slack was designed for virtual spaces, teams that were working remotely, like a company. And we took that and said, why don't we do that for our customers? There's no freaking news feed on there, right? Your ex-boyfriend from high school isn't going to try to friend you on Slack, right? I can share with you resources. You can organize them and search for them. And we can create a very positive culture and community in Slack that you can't do anywhere else. I pay money for that, though. We, it's not free, right? But that Slack is awesome because I get an idea, I publish a training, I publish it first on Slack instantly. And you can see it, respond to it, hear it. And then the team takes it and they put it in the members area and also in other unique specific locations just for affiliate triad members. So you know, one, one of the biggest difficulties Jason and I have in affiliate triad is how to explain the value of affiliate triad. In fact, we spent about two hours the other day, about four days ago, just coming up with all the list of things you see on the right side. And that is not even a complete list by any no. stretch of the imagination. It isn't, yeah. Because it started out 70, 70 or 75 days ago, something like that, as a small, let's promote one thing every month. And it's grown into so much at no additional cost to members that it is hard to quantify all that, that you get. And, and it, is it one promo a month? That's like kind of the main course, right? That is like the, the, the core of like what we're going to promote every month. But we've also recently, not that we figured it out. We always knew it, but in July in the, the promo in July, the promos in May and June were one off promos. Like they had a cart open and the cart close, right? And that was it. And members thought, wow, I could do so much. Members did well, but they thought we could do so much better if I could do this again and again and again. So some of the promotions aren't going to be just open and close. There'll be an opening and closing, but you can reopen and reclose on an evergreen basis whenever you wish. So now not only are you getting, so if we say one big promo a month, it's kind of a misnomer. It's kind of misleading a little bit because you can actually stack the different promos that are evergreen and not every promo is evergreen. Some of them are launch style, open, close, and then we're done, right? We may come back and do it again in the future, but it's done for now. But we're also going to put in a mix of promotions that are evergreen, meaning you can promote it at any time. So you, you, in a few months down the road, you may have three or four products that you can promote at any time using the affiliate triad bonuses and member and conversion materials and all that. So it's, it's really hard to just say it's one promo a month because it's a lot more than that. Plus you have these funnels that we create for you and these, these reseller licenses, which by the way, they are all, always our products. They're always going to be our products, high quality products that we've sold for a lot of money that you get to sell it at a very significant discount with the main purpose being build your list, but a secondary purpose of, hey, you might as well make some money in the process. And you get to keep all of that, that money. So yeah, by the way, well, we had that much flash more than one, one promotion from, a month. Yeah. Um, some of these promotions are like one-offs that we do. Others are evergreens, but we experimented with a one-off model first to test it out. We took a $500 product, discounted it down to $1. 
and let all of our members use that limited time $1 only special. And you can imagine how well they did taking a $500 product and selling it for a buck. And they got to keep all the leads. And most of those people that bought that product, those were the perfect people that then automatically were now teed up to be interested in the one big promotion that month. But regardless of whether they bought it or not, people literally made, because at the time it was 299 bucks a month, some people made more than $299 selling a $1 product, right? And then yeah, the Evergreen and that product, one, that, which that, is 10 bucks. That one was, uh, that one was the first time we, we put out a funnel like that and, and a reseller license. And it was literally to help people build the list. Because- Of buyers. Got, of buyers, list of buyers. We can talk all day long and, and you will hear us talk about inside affiliate triad the, the the concept of if you get somebody to open up their wallet and take out their credit card and pay you for something, it doesn't matter what's, whether it's $1 or $1,000, they are worth a heck of a lot more. Now, uh, Mubarak just um, said that we were talking about the number of the list size and number of sales. Yep. He made eight sales in our last promotion and earned about a $1,000 commission uh, per, sale. per sale with a list of only 20 fans that he has, 20 people. Yep. Yeah. 20 people, he made eight sales because the offers and, and the conversion materials are just that powerful. The value add that Mubarak can, can offer to his customer list is incredible, right? Yep. The emails in between promotions, you can't promote, you can't, pr even if you're only doing one promotion one week a month, let's say, if that's all you do, you cannot just build the list and email them for a week and then forget them for three weeks. Yeah. The next month, you're not going to have any results, right? So we create and give you emails pre-written done for you that you can send with just content if you wish. No offers, just content for three weeks. Yep. Imagine how your list is going to engage with you. Well, right? if you do it right, um, the average buyer on your email list will buy three things from you. You have to do it right though. But if you do it right, that's three things. So if you think about it in one hand, if Barrick sold eight and made $8,000 from that list of 20 people, right? He has the capacity to do it to that same audience two more times, however long it may be. It might be a year from now. It might be two years from now before that's fully realized. But really the value that he has is $24,000 of cash in his pocket from that list over its life cycle of its value and its propensity to invest in, uh, in things that is relevant to that audience. And so most of you, this is why we like this each month you will be able to build on top of the previous month in terms of your assets. So, you know, a guy that is get puts 20 people on his list month one and makes two sales, he might make 2000, 3000, $4,000 cash, right? Next month though, his list will go to 30 and he'll make 4,000, $5,000 in cash. And now he doesn't just have some make money online scheme. He's got what we call a real business. <laughs> And he can focus on the thing that matters the most, his audience that he's engaging with. You know what costs more people fortunes in this business than anything? A little bit of success. That's what dooms them. Because then they get out of touch with their customers or worse, they're juggling everything and they're not paying attention to their, their audience anymore. So we take care of everything else. So you can do the thing that matters the most, which is be in touch with your audience, whatever they may be. And a thing that I know, and this will never sell a damn course as long as I live, right? Quality will crush quantity in this business every single day of the week. By the way, you get quantity through quality. I started with a very small audience. Everybody I know started with a small audience, usually a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 100, or 200 people. Remember earlier when I said the smaller your email list, the better the open rates? That's because you've earned each subscriber. So they're super valuable just by the ability that it took you to put them on your email list, right? Now, there's ways to do it wrong. When I built my first email list and I made a whopping $60 from 60 articles, I didn't write good articles. My email sucked. My head wasn't in the right space. I wasn't promoting the right offers in the right way, right? So, so you can build an audience and do horrible with it, but the way that we create it for you, you'd have to work extra hard and really try very, you'd have to put some effort into screwing it up because you'd have to undo several things that have already been done for you. Again, here's the, here's the metaphor I always use. Most people in internet marketing that are trying to help you make money online, it's akin to teaching you how to swim 
by a PowerPoint slide deck or go to YouTube and watch these swimming videos, right? We're getting in the pool with you and helping you swim in the water. That's what affiliate triad is because you will see the power of email marketing and you will understand it because it's your email list and you will notice the things that I tell you to be true. And I will guide you along the way to make sure you capture those. When I do a promotion, you see it from two angles now as opposed to one. You see the actual promotional materials and then you see my psychology breakdown of it. Here's why I went this way with it. Here's the idea behind it. Here's how this works. And you say, whoa, now I see it from two perspectives. You know, by the way, you know why people don't normally do that? They don't open the kimono or peel back the curtain. Because if they showed you how they actually made money online, you would never respect them because they do it in a very slimy, unethical way. Now, they don't write books about it. They pretend they do other things, right? Because they can't actually show you what they do because you would lose all respect for them. But I am very above the board. I tell you exactly what I'm doing because there is nothing to hide behind. I don't have to worry about it because it's so in line. And you know me anyway. I'm a straight shooter. I'm as straight as they come. Uh, so you actually get the insight in behind why I went this way versus that way. And I will tell you, there's going to be nothing that's going to help you more in this business than seeing it from that perspective. Um, and so that's also a big part of affiliate triad too. We've stacked it up. We call this quad win, by the way, because it's a win, 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 win situation, a four win situation. We win because you win. When you and I win, the vendor wins because we help them realize success that no other affiliate could give them, right? And who wins most of all? The end customer because they get to buy a product that is awesome, top of the line, best of class, and they get all kinds of bonuses for free as part of it, and they get really value-based marketing. Because before I ever sell anybody anything, especially a, an amazing course, I spend a lot of time first in terms of value and advance and insight and education and really dealing with the constraints and holdups that would stop somebody from succeeding to remove those roadblocks before we offer that opportunity to them, right? Just like today, I gave you insight on email marketing. I said the things that aren't necessarily pretty are the things most people don't wanna hear, but it's the God's honest truth. And I gave you insight into that problem and I showed you the constraints and the limitations of it and then I removed it for you. That's what we do each and every month for our customers and our customers' customers, right? And you get to make the money as if you sold them directly yourself and if you did all the work yourself, and what better way to win? It's the positive feedback system. It's the flywheel concept, a four win scenario. You win, I win, the vendor wins, and the end customer wins most of all. Quadwin.com. Jason, so for folks here that are concerned about it, uh, concerned about a specific roadblock or a situation or uh, a shortcoming, current shortcoming, or whatever obstacle they may have. You know, one of them we covered is I, I don't have a list yet, right? Or I don't know how to drive traffic, or whatever the situation is. You literally risk nothing by joining today at quadwin.com because you are covered by a cancellation policy. You can cancel at any time but you're also covered by that one question answer guarantee. Yep. So you're, you're totally guaranteed that this will be a very well spent $349. And if it isn't, you get it back. If you can come to me and says, you know, Jason and Will, I only got $348 worth of value. I got $348 and 99 cents worth of value. You missed it by a penny, right? Yep. And I'm being fair enough. It's true. Then, then, then guess what? Then you got that for free because you can ask for a refund because you didn't get more than 349 worth of value. So no matter what, no matter what happens, this will be the best $349 you will ever spend. And I can say that with full confidence. And if it, does, if it is not true in any way, shape or form, tell us, I did not get $349 or more worth of value Therefore, I want my money back. That's it. The one question answered guarantee. That's right. 
And if you're honest, which I know most of you are, you won't be able to tell us that because no matter what happens, you will be getting so much more value out of it. But it's not, it's not how I measure value. Here's the other thing. I'm not going to measure the value you got out of it. You will measure it. It'll be your, because, because to some people, they'll get a million dollars worth of value for 349. There may be some of you that will get zero, zero dollars worth of value in your own mind. And that's okay. Just come to me and said, I did not get 349 worth of value. Right? So the types of products that we will promote, let's talk about the types. Oh, great of question. That's a great question, right? Yeah. Um, let me handle that one. Cause I, I always talk to vendors about this cause they want us to promote their products. So I say, listen, I got this criteria, right? So here's the criteria for anybody that wants to know. First of all, it is going to be a make money product almost always in why, because it's the greatest thing you can sell online to make the most amount of money. It's what we know the most. It's what we have the most connections and insights in, in leverage to. And by the way, when done right, everybody's interested in making more money online. So it has mass appeal. So that's the second thing is we don't take these very minutia style products that only have a limited appeal to like a super duper advanced geeky internet marketer type audience, right? We always look for products that would pass the stranger test as I call it. Could we pull a stranger off the streets who had no previous experience, set them in front of the computer and could they make a go at this in a short period of time, have the opportunity to be reasonably successful? If they don't have that, it doesn't cut the mustard, right? Actually, the first version, I should say, the first criteria is this product has to be unbelievably good. I mean, it has to be beyond good. It has to be as good as it possibly can be. So that's it. The quality is it. See, quality doesn't sell products, unfortunately, because you only find out about the quality after you spend money on a product. But quality has within it the most amount of marketing juice you can pull out of it because it usually will have the best testimonials. It'll usually have the best information inside of it that I can design a killer webinar around, right? And, and so I know how to position best on the inside to meet with best in the perception world, which is where all buying decisions are made, right? So best of quality, because then I can go all in on it, right? Um, so that's the other thing is it's got to have that wide appeal, to as many people as possible. It's got to pass a stranger test. It's got to be something where we have an insider advantage on. So that's the third criteria as well. So if a product doesn't have a weakness, which by the way, doesn't exist, every product does, or if I don't have the right angle or it's not the right timing for that product, I won't touch it. So a lot of our products have to do with timing and trends in the marketplace, which you should never try to guess unless you know it, right? It's like Warren Buffett has a sixth sense in value investing. He can spot stocks that are at a discount and buy them low and then make money from them. I have a sixth sense when it comes to things to promote. And so I will know what the audience needs most right now that they're not getting. And then that's the promotion for the month. So that's, that's how we pick promotions. The other way that I pick promotions is, is the vendor super duper ethical and open to my suggestions or our suggestions, Will and I, because we will tell them, we want this for our customers, you need to adjust this so our customers can promote it. And until you remove this constraint, we won't touch it because this will kill our sales or not kill them, right? It'll turn $2 million into 1.5 million. (laughs) But we don't want the other half million to go unclaimed. And so often with, with vendors, we play very hardball. I'm not a very good negotiator in most situations, but there is one situation where I'm a great negotiator when I hold all the cards. And when I say, listen, we have this, this team at Affiliate Triad, this is how we empower them, this is what we do to make them successful, we can point them at your offer or we can point them at somebody else's offer. If it's gonna be your offer, here's what I need fixed, here's what I need added, here's what I need adjusted, right? So does the vendor play ball? That's how we also determine what products are promoted or not promoted. I also look at products, this is a secondary concern but it's a concern nonetheless. Because you get review access, will the product itself, when you review it, make you a better marketer? Will it be applicable and help you in your own business and your own insight? This is called double dipping, right? If you go through the product, will it actually make you better at selling affiliate triad stuff? And so I try to find products that also check that box off as well. Uh, And there's a lot of them, Um, but here's my favorite criteria. What's a product that is underutilized? So here's a, so every product has an actual potential of revenue uh, that it could reach. 
So a lot of products, there's a lot of great products out there that have 10 to 20 to $50 million of potential. So let's take the wholesale formula, for example. Most people have never heard of the wholesale formula. These guys are not professional marketers. They are good at what they do, which is what they created the course around. And then as a secondary thing, because they felt the need to give back is essentially why they created the course. They do weird stuff when they market that course because they're not professional marketers, right? And they do really well in spite of those things, not because of them. And their customer results are bonkers through the roof, but it doesn't show up in any of their marketing. A lot of the things that are really valuable in that course go overlooked or underreported, right? And so I know those things. I know that this is an underutilized asset and it's probably has a $50 million potential gap from what it has generated to what it could generate. And so I bring this to you so you could unlock all this dormant profit that is laying around inside the product that is just going unclaimed right now because it's not being positioned properly. It doesn't have the right bonuses associated with it. Even though it's got incredible customer testimonials, for some reason, they're not using any of them. Don't ask me why, but it happens all the time. They're not opening up their product to multiple different markets. I will tell you different markets that you could point the product at and I will help you step into those, right? Oftentimes they're too jargony in how they explain the product, right? They don't understand that we got to put this in real people talk, not in industry insider terms. And so we figure that out. It's kind of ironic because then I break all these rules when I promote my own products, right? It's the cobbler's kids have no shoes. This is the weakest promotion that I'll ever do is this one that you're seeing right here. <laughs> Cause I don't have time to do this one, the justice that it should be done because we're so busy serving existing affiliate triad customers, right? So those are some of the criterias, but mostly it comes down to timing. What's the thing right now that the world needs the most or getting the least? And how can we align the marketing to touch into that, tap into that, and then leverage it? And that's what we put into your hands, right? Oh yeah, there's one more thing. I gotta be irrationally passionate about the product. Cause if I don't believe that the product is truly life-changing, I won't touch it with a 10 foot pole. That that's, is a that's, that's, an under, that's an under, a 10 foot pole is an understatement, Jason. Cause a 10 foot pole is visible. You can still get to it. You can still reach it, right? You're more like this across the planet uh, pole because everybody here who's seen Jason before. So tell me this in the chat box. Have you seen Jason sell something before and were you compelled to buy it because he's a good salesman? He's a good pitch man. Tell me yes, if that's, if that's true for you. Okay. So I'm getting a, a handful of yeses. <laughs> people are shy about it, right? Yeah, people, people are being, they're, they're being a little shy about it. They're saying yes, yes, multiple times. Damn, yes, the best, right? I will tell you, Jason, I've seen Jason be the worst salesperson on this planet. I will call the, him the ultimate um, sales prevention department. If he's ever put in the situation to pitch or sell something he doesn't believe in. I mean, I'm talking like he couldn't sell, like he couldn't give away food to a starving person kind of yeah. bad. I mean, just like um, incredibly awful. Right. Yeah. And, and, uh, I self-sabotage without even realizing it because I don't believe in it. So I don't want anybody to buy it. it uh, yeah. He sabotages it. Right. And by the way, he's done this in, in a scenario that wasn't necessarily to sell somebody something because he never would do that anyway. But it was like, I can't even get him to do an announcement of something like charitable if he doesn't believe in it. I mean, it's crazy. So all that to say, that is really, really important to us. And, and I'm the same way, by the way, I don't ever want to sell something that I don't believe in that I think is crap because in the, in the long, in the long term, nobody, nobody wins. Even much. if I think it's good, but I personally can't get excited about it. I won't touch it. Even if it could be the greatest thing in the world. Cause here's my philosophy on that. There are a lot of good products out there. Now they're super hard to find. They're really hard to find. But there's enough of them. And if I work hard enough, I could always sell something that I feel is an absolute game changer. Now, a lot of people will phone that in. They'll pretend that they have the greatest product ever when really they're just paying back a favor because somebody promoted them the month before and now they're promoting them in return. So they have to put on this fake dog and pony show, right? 
uh, by the way, I get a lot of criticism in this industry because they say, oh, Jason, you're a hard, you sell too hard. It turns me off. You pitch too hard. You, you're high pressure, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, bullshit, right? My customers don't feel that way because they understand the, where it's coming from. On the outside looking in, if you're trying to judge me, you don't get that connection because you don't realize the blood, sweat, and tears that I pour into it, heart and soul, when I get behind something that I believe in. So there's this unspoken social contract with my audience, they get it, they know. They're like, dude really is passionate and believes in this, so I will forgive him if he becomes very passionate because I understand where it's coming from. And that's one of the reasons why we can be so, so successful is because of that transference of feeling. Now, is every product right for everybody? No, there's no such thing that is perfect for anybody, right? If something can cure cancer in men, it doesn't matter if you're a woman, you won't be able to use it, right? Or if something can cure cancer in women, men will not get any benefit from it if it only works for women, right? So every product will have an audience that it's perfect for and it will have people that it's not perfect for. Now, for that product, it is so obvious to me when I sell it that anybody who it's not perfect for will opt out of it. They'll be like, yeah, they won't even show up on the webinars because it wasn't designed for them, right? And but so we really step benefit. into that. Here's the other benefit you get with promoting with us in the way that we promote. Regardless of whether the audience is right for it or not, they get value out of the promotion. Yeah. We give more value in the promotion itself than most people give in their products. Correct. In their highest ticket products. People yep. learn more from our sales webinars. I hope you've learned something from this sales webinar. And this wasn't even meant to be a huge content rich webinar. This was like an afterthought, hey, we need to open affiliate triad again. And we haven't had time to put together a real promotion sort of webinar, but, but let's put the opportunity out there because yeah. we know people can benefit. But you, if you give value, continued value, you know this, you've seen this, you've heard this, you follow people who do this, right? You win. And here's the beauty about affiliate triad. We give all that value for you on your behalf and you become the hero. We're hero makers. Mubarak, who has a 20 person list and sold eight, he just didn't sell eight. He's helped change those people's yeah, lives. Absolutely. And by the way, I know some stuff about him that he shared with me that not only is he changing his customers' lives, he's changing the lives of, of, of needy, needy communities across the world because of what he's utilizing in the Philly Triad. Super proud to be a part of, of that, right? Absolutely. My friend John is changing the lives of neighbors and friends who he, he ended up selling uh, the wholesale formula to because he saw it, he's had experience with it, he believes in it, and he knows that this was just what they needed in the situation that they're in right now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm confident that anybody who, when they get the product review access to the product we pick, they're going to be like, oh my God. Yeah. I see what Jason means. Wow. This is really incredible. By the way, if it isn't never promote anything that you don't believe in, but I am that confident that we're that good at picking high quality products that when you take a look at it, you'll be like, yeah, it's like the iPhone, right? People were like, you got to get an iPhone. Uh, and so there's these Apple fanboys now. They're actually now made fun of for being Apple fanboys, but there is no Android fanboys, right? Or there's no Nokia fanboys, or there's no whatever other phone there is fanboys. There is Apple fanboys. And so that excitement and that contagiousness of sharing that with somebody else, all I know is if I give you access to the product, that's going to happen for you. My hope is you're like, well, geez, I would have to pay for this product before. Now I don't have to. Uh, and so I can take a look at it and I want to personally gain from it by going through it. And then when you go in there, be pleasantly surprised that, oh my God, this is really good. And here's the best part of all. I think this is a great learning experience, Will. They see how I take that actual product and transform it into a sales message. Because we build our sales messages from the core of the product. We pull out of the product and create the most valuable thing we could show them in advance from that product. A lot of people, the way they sell is they say, hey, listen, this, 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 and this are really powerful for you. And the only way you can find out about them is by this product, right? I say, let me show you how to do this, this, and this. And now that you know how to do them, you can do them on your own or you can have this product help you. And that's a better sell, works better. The only difference is, is it's about 25 times more sophisticated to pull off which is why a lot of people don't do it. 
So you got to leverage this. And over time, you will start to see how I pick things out, right? Um, sometimes it'll seem so obvious in retrospect, but a math equation was how we unlocked a million dollars for uh, TWF in terms of promotion. I spent 25 minutes going over a basic math equation. And I explained to the audience and affiliate triad ahead of time why that was important. Not because the audience is dumb, but because everybody else wasn't getting down to the audience's level and, and really putting it into terms that it was so obvious what the value was. And it wasn't even in the course itself. So I knew people who got it, who watched the webinar before they bought the course, were gonna be more successful with the course. Because we gave them value above and beyond for free during the presentation in the sales webinar. That was even more valuable than some of the aspects of the course, what to speak of the bonuses and everything else, right? Yeah, at the, at the, at the risk of doing a huge injustice right now, I'm going to tell them a couple of ways, many different ways that they can get value out of affiliate triad, right? Of course, you can get value by earning affiliate commissions using your promotions. That's the basic. We hope you do. We want you to, because guess what? The more money you earn, the more money we will earn. So we want you to get, get it straight, right? Yep. You get acts, you get value by getting incredible content, not just to build your list, but to engage your list. Huge, huge value there, right? You get mastermind like access to us and our community. Like you've, you saw a screenshot of how many messages I, I've posted in the community. We're there answering. Jason is there sometimes as well. Mostly I manage the community along with our support team, right? And we are answering questions. You saw one of the screenshots that says, wow, I just have to think of a problem and I wake up the next day, you guys have solved it. Because usually the challenges are the same for most people. They're very common, not the same, but there, there are many common challenges. And as soon as we see it, we address it because we want to empower you to be successful. Your financial success equals our financial success. No, it, it's simple. It's another simple math equation. If you make a million dollars collectively as members, we make a hundred thousand. If you make 10 million, we make a million. It's, it's, it's a linear math equation, right? It's super simple. So some members get tremendous value of just watching trainings, just watching trainings. And by the way, these trainings, sometimes they're long webinars that we do for members. Sometimes they're a, a, an audio recording from Jason stream of consciousness. Hey, I, I was thinking, I was working on this project this morning. Here's what I learned about it. Right. And, and our members eat that up because it's super valuable insight that he's giving to the membership. When we're preparing these promotions, you get to see a finished product, like a bonus page. You have no idea if you've never done it, how many hours of work and how much psychology and how much strategy and how much in tactics and how much forethought goes into creating just a bonus page. Guess what? As Jason is creating these bonus pages, <laughs> for, a, for a weekend on a row sometimes, he will every morning say, here's where I am in the morning. Here's what I got to do for today. Here's why I'm doing it. And then sometimes he comes back in the evening and says, hey, I just stopped working today. Here's what I accomplished. And here was the most powerful uh, lesson out of the, the whole situation. Yep. So you get to see the raw uncut as it happens over the shoulder look yeah, that's that cool. you can't get anywhere else. Not yeah. only can't you get anywhere else because people don't uh, share that with you, right? Because they need to have appearances of being perfect, but because they don't do it halfway as good as like, not even a 10th of the way as good as we do it or as well as we do it. Yeah. And or most of the time they outsource this do stuff, it. by the way, they don't even do it themselves. Even these gurus, they often don't do it themselves. Right. So they can't teach you the stuff because they don't understand it. Yeah. They and they can't do it as efficiently as we can do it either. That's the thing is like, you will and, see the progress I make and I will timestamp it sometimes. I'm like, here's how I wrote 12,000 words in 19 hours. And you're like, whoa. But then I show you the model behind it. Right. So and then, you get to understand not only, you know, not only to see what was done, but how it was done and what processes. So members yeah. have been able to adopt processes 
that Jason follows to be super efficient in doing this stuff. And that yeah, helps. Well, I like it the other way too. Here's the problem I encountered today. I thought I was going to be able to do it this way. Turns out I couldn't do it this way, or I was stuck on this thing, or there was some issue here with this that I didn't anticipate. And here's how I adjusted to make that work, right? So success is more caught than taught. So over time, you will start to adopt that mentality of how I can see something and work around it, which is really how success is actually is in this business. You only see the finished product when you're on the consumer side, right? But we bring you in there and show you how the sausage is made. And I think what'll happen is you will then realize that, oh, what I thought success was and what it actually is are two different things. And what it is, you will actually relate to more. You'll say, oh, I can, I've had that. I, I understand where he's coming from. And then I model for you these different solutions or these different ways to be successful. And over time, you, there will not be a situation you encounter where I haven't modeled it at some point in time. That's going to happen to you. Over time, you will say that no matter what, you say, oh, what would Jason do? Or what did Jason do, right? You pull that off and you're like, I got this. Yeah. So you get, you get, you can't even put the, the, the price on value like that. And like Jason said, oftentimes you will tell you, this is what I'm thinking. And then he'll come back and show you the next day. Well, that was really dumb. Here's why it didn't work. Right. Yeah. But here's how I adjusted it. So you will see raw and uncut over the shoulders. There's no more, no better way to learn and to see the reality of what really happens. One of the comments most members may have made or many members have made is that, wow, I, now I realize why I couldn't be successful and I had no chance before because yeah. it takes a lot of work. And now you guys are doing all that work for me. Thank you very much. Right. But yeah. here, so, so let's, let's keep going on the, on the, the, the different ways members can get value. We talked about product access. How would you like to get access to the highest quality products? Sometimes $2,500 products, thousand dollar products, $5,000 products, $500 products, review access to these products so you can see exactly where they uh wh what they can do for you without having to spend that money now this is not by the way i'm not going to tell you this i that this is like hey pay us 349 and you're getting products at a discount that's not what it's meant to be this is review access you get limited time access to the products enough time for you to fully see the entire product right not drip fed over time you get to see the whole thing but it is not meant as free access to expensive products, but it is definitely value because as you're reviewing it, you're going to learn it, right? You can't help but learn something if you're reviewing it. And now you're having access to these products that, that are super high quality products that you can get passionate behind and, and access to a, a multi-million dollar team, right? A nine, a, 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 a a, a large number of, of marketers that are successful are already in the group and you get access to Jason and you get access to me and we'll do trainings and we answer you in Slack and we'll share information with you. Uh, you, you, can't, you can't even get access to me, for example, because I don't do consulting. I don't have the time to do it. Jason has super limited time to do it. And, the and I charge three thousand one hundred twenty-five bucks an hour. Three thousand one hundred twenty-five dollars an hour for his consulting time. When you can get it, and if you if you don't believe it, try and book a session. It, it's weeks out right now to book a one-hour session with Jason. We just don't have the time to do it, yeah. right? So where else can you get access to to this level of experience and this level of knowledge for three hundred and forty-nine dollars a month? So there, I know there. I wish Jason some members would like. I wish 100% of the members would promote the offers, right, on a monthly basis. But there are a lot of members that are getting value just from the ancillary yeah. stuff. And that's oh, all yeah. they care about. Yeah, right? yeah. I've and had many fun. members tell me that, hey, listen, even if I never make a commission and affiliate triad from promoting a thing, I will stay in there forever. Um, because it solves a lot of other problems besides just an immediacy to earn a certain income. What they end up discovering is they're like, no matter what I do in this business, have an affiliate triad in my toolkit is going to be so much more valuable than not having it in and saving 349 bucks a month. And so that's what's really awesome about this program. And Will and I kind of secretly had hoped that would be the case because listen, there are lots of co courses out there or training programs that are just for group coaching $349 per month. And they're really worth it, honestly. Group coaching is super valuable if you're working with some of the best 
in what they do and they have community around it, that's super valuable. For us, it just happens to be the fringe benefits of what we initially, I mean, designed it to be. Honestly, it's become the best actual benefit once you get in. But Will and I just wanted to create a done for you program because we were like, man, we could take our superpower instead of teaching people how to do these things, we can do them for them and help them be successful. And then along the way, once we help them be successful, we will backfill it and show them how we did what we did. So maybe they'll learn it, but whether they learn it or not, they can earn. Learning was optional, earning was mandatory. That was kind of our attitude for affiliate triad. And it just it ends up being better than what we ever could have envisioned or imagined it to be, which is usually what happens when you stumble upon something and you break it through. Uh, there is no doubt in my mind, and we've said this before, I believe in my heart of hearts that this will soon become the definitive number one best thing ever in internet marketing, period, right? Like this will occupy the top spot in terms of here's what I mean. There will be no more valuable program that you could invest in at any price. I believe firmly that we will change the industry forever with affiliate triad, which is one of the reasons why we have to increase the price because, well, there's two reasons why we have to increase the price. One is we always reinvest back into our community, just like you would in like a fund that continues to produce a high ROI for you. You wouldn't say, no, I'm not going to invest more money, right? Or less money. You're going to invest more money. And so that's one of the reasons why we reinvest profits back in to build the community further and make it even stronger. The other reason though, and this is more of a legitimate reason, is people will tend to downplay this value because the price doesn't come anywhere close to matching the value. So we will have an issue where we will literally lose people if we keep the price too low. And I know that sounds stupid, but it is the way that it, the world works. People say, well, that Ferrari can't be that good. It's only $1,000, right? Nobody would ever buy a $1,000 Ferrari. Because they would say, what's the catch? It's got to be counterfeit. It's got to be unauthentic. It's got to blow up the first time you get into it, right? So we will legitimately have to in order to help the amount of people uh, be able to do this. But there will come a point here very soon where we're investing like $349 per member in things to help those members succeed. And so from a mathematics standpoint, it just won't make sense. But whatever, that's the case for the future. Anybody who gets in at the price that they get in at gets locked in at that investment rate. So that's 349. Of course, you can cancel whenever you wish to. And if you just flat out tell us, you say, I honestly don't feel like it was worth 349. We'll even give you that back in the first month when you sign up at quadwin.com. You know, the, again, let me just restress what I said earlier. Will had to really talk me into even promoting this thing because I was wanting to get rest in between the last affiliate triad promotion, the done for you promotion we did for our members and the next one. Uh, and because like, I want to always sell everything I sell in the best possible way, which usually means 40 to 50 hours of prep work. That's what that means. Let's just be straight with each other. This isn't some sip my ties on the beach kind of a thing. I take what I do very seriously. And so I love to invest a tremendous amount of time to really show you insights and give you aha moments. But we didn't have that capability. So Will says, you got to build an outline and you just kind of got to riff off of it. Uh, and we got to do it on a Saturday, right? And so I'm always uneasy because I want to sit down and spend 50 hours breaking down, modeling, showing, visualizing, hitting it from multiple angles to help you have the biggest impact and insight. And then whether you sign up or not, you sign up or not. But I, I love that type of preparation to give you the most that I can. Unfortunately, we just didn't have that. We just did not have that opportunity here. But Will, the voice of reason, as he often is, says to me, he goes, dude, even if we get just a couple people in, won't that be worth it? Or do you want these poor people to suffer for another month and not have the value that affiliate triad has? And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense, right? So here we are. <laughs> yeah, so I, it, it's always, I'm always conflicted with this, right? Because on one hand, we want to give people the opportunity, like you just said, because it, it, is, it, it will be business or life-changing for them and or life-changing for them, right? We know that for a fact. On the other hand, if we don't do the greatest job we can, we're leaving so many people on, this, on the yeah. side of the road. And that's what I fear that, that I always fear that because you said something that, that you and I have discussed and members have, have already started to see this we will change this industry. It is already happening. 
Yep. You the 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 comments that we see in our Slack group, you know, there's one very there's one very uh, prominent marketer who said last week one of the side effects of I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but one of the side effects of affiliate triad is that because of how Rapid Crush treats their customers, I by default have started to treat my customers better and doing more for my customers than I normally would because you know, it just, it just is the way it is. I, I, by default became better to my customers and I want to do more. I no longer do the minimum required. I always want to go overboard because that's how R rapid crush does it over delivers. Right. Yes. So it, 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 um, when you mentioned that, that, that we didn't do the, pro this promotion as well as we wish we could have done it, which is anyway, always the case. We always want to do better, but it just saddens me a little bit because there are people here that are still listening to us that are like, yeah, I don't think this is for me. Right. And the reality is this. Um, I, I challenge you to do, I challenge you or I encourage you to do this. Take, take out a piece of paper and write a note on it for yourself. Write June 27th, 2020. This is the day I first heard about affiliate triad and I decided not to join for whatever reason right? And in the future, when you do join, because you will in the future, you're going to look back and then you will unfortunately say, I lost X number of months. And that's okay. But I just want you to, to write that down because in the future, affiliate triad is going to become the de facto standard in the industry. It'll be a situation where new people coming in the industry are saying, hey, I want to get into online marketing. How do I do it? Well, step number one, join affiliate triad. Yeah that there's no questions asked because that is how everything is going to happen because the industry needs to be changed. If you have been, many of you here have found rapid crush through different means other than directly internet marketing. Like you may have been in one of our challenges and our personal development course or something like that. But those of you who have been in our internet marketing have been, whether you've purchased one offer in the past or you've purchased a hundred offers from other people in the past, you know that this is a scummy marketer. This is a scummy market, yeah. right? You know it's a dirty. It's it's uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of smoke and mirrors. Dirty, scummy, uh, unethical market as a whole. And we've set ourselves a goal to change that because it's funny. Ethical marketing and passionate marketing wins in the long term. Hands down, we're yep. here to prove it. We look at how many comp, how many companies, and how many businesses have done what we what we've done for ten years in a row, and kept customers coming back for ten years in a row. We have customers in affiliate triad that either have followed Jason or, or perhaps myself even before Rapid Crush existed, and they've been customers for a decade. We I have customers who bought the very first product I ever sold, Will, in two thousand seven of November who are now an affiliate triad. 13 years ago, 13 years ago. And you don't do that by being dirty and scummy and, and cheating people and do that. Unfortunately, that happens a lot in this market. You see time and time, if you've been in this market for, for a while, tell me, tell me if this is true or not. You've seen gurus come and go. You've seen gurus who are all the hot thing of the minute, right? And then they just literally disappeared because they screwed their customers Right. And they have to go take a vacation, a long vacation. Sometimes it's a year or two or three or five years. And then they just happen to pop back up and say, hey, I have this great thing for you, right? Yeah, yeah. The market forgot, right? The market forgot. And then the they do it again forgot. and they repeat the process. Oftentimes, too, it's not always that nefarious. Sometimes people learn one tactic on the internet and they become famous for it, but they don't stay a student. And so when the market changes they get left in the dust and they don't adapt. And so Will and I jumped on webinars before anybody else did. And now five, 10, 15 years later, people are still like, oh, I guess I got to learn webinars now. Cause they got in, they found one little hack and they made money the easy way. And then they pretended that they could teach you how to build an online business. So they pretended that they had more substance that they could provide to you. They didn't, their substance was thin. They had one little thing that worked for a very limited time and then it evaporated, right? Uh, and it's unfortunate that this is the case is first of all, Will and I build fundamentals, which is important because those will always be value. But second of all, Will and I are always innovating. And that's one of the reasons why we've stayed relevant in this business 
and really have been able to help customers. That's the, but really it's underlined by the following concept of this. I take great pride in my work. And so to me, I can never fathom how these other gurus don't have that pride of craftsmanship. They, they like making money, which I do too, right? But to them, whether the product is mediocre or not, doesn't seem to bother them too much. Their, their websites are ugly looking too, right? Um, there's no craftsmanship pride. I'm kind of like Jobs in the sense of like, jo Steve Jobs was, was absolutely sold on the fact that he wanted it to be cool looking no matter where, even inside the machine, he wanted to design something that was impressive because he always felt that was reflective of the quality of the product, that everything was treated with this high level of quality. And that's the attitude that I take as well. And so when you have that attitude, then it forces you to always be relevant for your customers because you have to have more to give to your customers in order to maintain that type of position. And really that's what Will and I do. That's one of the things like, here's some of the hard decisions Will and I had to make that nobody else made. We have to spend $19,000 a year just to support our customer support team in terms of the software that they have access to. Most, most marketers are like, there's no way I'll spend $19,000 a year on the software. I'm not talking on the personnel, right? Will and I knew it was gonna be a very long time before we would recoup such investment. But eventually we did and it became such a huge investment. When I started in this business, I was like, I need to learn how to hand code HTML and CSS if I wanna build the websites that I wanna build. In the short term, it was slower, it was more tedious and complicated. But in the long term, I can develop and do things that most other people can't. They don't even know how to outsource something like that because they don't have that sort of insight into being able to do those kind of things. I still build my own slide decks because I want to know the latest, greatest angles of keynote. And I want to know some of the intricacies. And I'm always fascinated with what are the different ways that I can uh, adjust this further and then teach it to you because I can give it to you if I know what it is, right? So it's that type of pride of, of, of creation that transcends just the actual business. And that's one of the reasons why we stay successful. And there's a million more things that I can point to that Will and I have decided to do. Slack is one of them, right? Will and I said, listen, it's gonna cost us about 10 bucks per member per month. 15. Yeah, 15. See, I'm glad Will looks at the number, not me. I just ignore it because I'm like, if it needs to be done, we'll do it. I don't know what the cost is going to be. So we invest $15 per member per month inside of Slack just so we feel like that can give you an advantage because no other marketer is willing to do something like that. Will and I will rebate you a full marketing software automation stack system through Kartra for the first year. And that's complicated for us. Not only is that financially taxing, we have to keep track of that stuff. That's a whole accounting nightmare, right? But we say in the long term, that will work out in our benefit, not in the short term. And then we do things like uh, make better than money back guarantees for certain offers. And we know in the short term, it's gonna be a lot more work on our part. We gotta manage it and we will have to pay out money. But in the long term, it will be more valuable. Things like that, right? And that's really one of the things that you really ultimately get with us is our desire to continue to focus on the real long-term value things. Now it's hard to do that. And I don't think I could teach that either. Either you get it on your own or you don't get it, but I don't want that to be a constraint. Uh, I want you to not be long-term focused and me still be able to make you successful. Cause then I know if I can get you successful on the short term, it's much easier to translate that to the long term. So I want to get you a quick win. I want you to get you addicted to winning with us, right? And then I'm gonna show you how to morph that short-term wins into longevity, which is a lesson that most people don't get. There's a lot of temporary millionaires out there. They make a million once when the market is down or the market is up, or there's some sort of event that they cashed in on, right? Look at all these crypto millionaires, right? Pretty soon they're gonna be a million in the wrong way. They're gonna be a million dollars in debt because they think that it will last forever. Look at the real estate crashes, right? There's always opportunity and there's always suffering going on in the world. But if you have the right things in your favor, even though the temperature may change on the outside, you'll still feel good on the inside. And that's ultimately what we're going to build you up to as an affiliate triad, because I don't want to take a horse out and win, win one race. And then the horse has to be taken and shot and killed because I exhausted it. Right. I want a winning horse race that can win me 
many, many races. And then when that horse is done, we start breeding that horse to have offspring that can win many, many races. Okay, that's a weird metaphor, but hopefully you get what I'm saying here, right? We're going to get you in. We're going to get you addicted to winning with the commissions, and that's our great magic trick. Because along the way, we're going to sneak in some of these fundamental things that you're going to catch more than be taught. And then pretty soon, it's going to become a way of life for you. Now, I don't need any of you to work as hard as I work or a tenth as hard as I work or even a hundredth as hard as I work, right? This is the great wonder of capitalism. You pay me to work hard on your behalf. You capitalize on me. And that's a fair exchange for me because this is so enjoyable and enriching to me personally to do this and to exchange your money for the value. I like it like that. This is my thing that I get to do. And you get to leverage it when you join affiliate triad. And then if you want to do some more or some different things based on some of my role modeling and some of Will's and other members in the community, at least it's an option you now have that you never had before. Well, we got to wrap it up here. My son has been such a superstar. Um, yeah, he has. So it's, it's um, been time. It's time to go. Yeah. So um, I'm so happy to see new members in the community. They're already starting to introduce themselves after a little break. I'm going to come back and, and chat with them too and, and welcome them personally into Slack. And uh, Jason, I just shared, uh, I just sent you a, a text message with a link. Could you open up that link and bring it up on your browser real quick for me? It was a comment from one of our members, Alexa. And um, uh, I just wanted to share that because it was, it was a testimonial. It was on the fly, literally just came in uh as at, in zoom so uh, <laughs> that's what alexa said i like it are the most ethical marketers ever if anyone is on the fence jump in you won't regret it and you have nothing to lose other than learning more that will boost your business i that thank you alexa for saying that really appreciate it it is really a situation where you cannot lose we're not here to take your money and not drive you value or even have you risk your money. We don't have to, we don't want you to risk a penny ever, right? We want you to get insane value out of any investment you make. And don't forget the one question answered guarantee. If you invest today and within 30 days, it could be tomorrow, it could be 29 days from now, it could be on the 30th day. If you tell us, I did not get more, at least $349 worth of value. Therefore, I want a refund and I want to cancel. If you've gotten more value than $349, then it's fair that you don't request a refund. You can still cancel anytime, but it's fair, right? Is that fair enough, everybody, that if, you, if we gave you more than that value, by your, by your standards, by your judgment, then you shouldn't request a refund. But if you don't, I want you to request a refund, period. Because I didn't fulfill all my promise and we always wanna fulfill on our promises. And by the way, you will see that over and over and over again in affiliate triad in our Slack group, how we are always concerned about fulfilling our promises and making sure we deliver. So um, I just hope Jason that we did a good enough job. I know, we, I know we will do better in the future. Unfortunately, it's probably going to cost more in the future to join. Right. So I hope people will join now, even if we didn't do the greatest job, because we really didn't have time to put together the best marketing materials for affiliate triad, because we've been taking care of members for the past month, for yep. the past two and a half months. But we will, we'll get this dialed in, the pr price will go up. So I hope people join now and lock in this three forty nine a month and um, they will see more value out of this program than anything they have ever bought or could ever buy as far as online business training is concerned. I have, I have no doubt, no shame, no reservations about saying that because it's true. Our members tell us all the time. So thank you everybody. We will get a replay out. It is a almost three and a half hour webinar now. So it's going to take a while to, to render and process and for us to post it, but we'll get it out as soon as we can. We are, we are directly, directly incentivized by your success. Ask yourself if you've ever been put in a situation like that with, a, with anybody who sold you a training course or a make money online product or a business training or, or coaching. Are they, do they get paid regardless of your success or not? Or are they incentivizing to make they make a lot more money when you're successful?
So I, with that, thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, write to support at rapidcrush.com. Uh, Sabrina, if you can put that in the chat box, support at rapidcrush.com. Uh, if you have any questions, just reach us there. If you go to quadwin.com on the bottom of that page, there's also a support link that gets you there. And just, we will take care of you. You will not experience better support anywhere else. Thank you, Jason, for an awesome presentation and uh, for putting this together in the last minute so we could help some people out. Excellent. We'll talk soon and we'll see you inside on the welcome and um, kickoff call for Affiliate Triad new members, which take place on Tuesday. We'll speak soon.